in there for some reason. I'm not sure. Well, regardless, uh, Nestor's out there somewhere, but you guys can uh, tell me what you want to do right now. The, the combat just ended. You just stabilized this one slave, still alive. She's stable and not dying. And you kind of did a cursory search of your end of the room, but still, literally, it's been frozen in time, and you just come back. There's a hallway to the north, another unknown hallway to the northeast, and a mm -hmm. door. And the door, that door has a funny symbol on it. I don't know if you saw that uh, pic I sent you. But uh, there it is. Yeah. I think Sprite would talk like Somos, and I forget your character's name, Jeffrey. Yeah, that's fine. Tonrio. Is what it is. Ruel. Yeah. Ruel. Yeah. All right. Um, but I will answer to anything close. So. All right. So it'd be fine if you just got your ton. Uh, that's fine. All right. So how shall we proceed? I suggest this door right here. <laughs> And I pull my ball out of it. You mean the one that you stuck a guy through? Hi. The door I'm, is open. Um, I, I would imagine there's a slight hole where a guy... That's, why, like, that's why I was suggesting it. Because it was already open. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. It's almost here, Dwarf. And also, Sprite, the gnome, would notice this. Mm -hmm. the, ex the major excavation had been coming from this entrance over here, like where the wheelbarrows, you could see the trail where they'd had mm -hmm. spillage and it, there was a, a definite track. So just so you know, and there is a, a another, you, you see another slave kind of walk out from the tunnel entrance in a sort of a daze with a wheelbarrow still in slave mode. And he walks into the room and starts heading your direction, not even seeing you guys. He's completely out of it. Like, most of these slaves completely insane and I don't have at the moment a token for him but he comes into the room pushing a wheelbarrow and is um, going to go around the bodies and keep pushing toward the quick, cave where the sleeving, uh, uh, breathing slave is real quick um, this area up here yeah that you were pointing to yeah me and Sprite already went through there remember Oh, so we did spend a couple rounds? Yeah, we were looking around. Okay, that's, so... That's how, that's how he got that ring and how I got that uh, ring. Okay, okay. Let's restart mm -hmm. with that in mind. At this location over here, you guys discovered that you have interrupted them at a point where they had just opened up an uh, opening in the rubble. And for some reason, they were intently digging out this area. Like they had their focus was on it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you could actually probably crawl through it right now. There's a small gap up there. Well, what I'm saying is we've already been in there. Into nine? Into it up here. Yeah, but there is, you haven't been over the rubble. Um, the rubble is, the rubble collapsed after we left. Remember, we fished the mage's body out. That's how I got those fucked up boots, the ring of the Yeah, 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 okay. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry about that. I got the wrong room. I got mixed up. All right. I've had like four beers now, so <laughs> getting caught up. <laughs> about two beers behind you. Okay, so you found that spot where they dug in there and found that. Okay, so that was sort of important. I um, And you guys already did that. The guy you, you undug from the rubble back then by the way, was quite important. You guys, of course, recognize that. He was a leader of this community. And now that he's dead, well, who knows? Survivors are going on. So you're back in the room. Here we go. The door is open. And you guys haven't you checked out that door yet, though, right? No, we have not. Okay. No, we have not done in there. That door has a funky symbol on it. Uh, the gnome could make a minus 10 wisdom check for this one. Wisdom check at minus 10? Yeah, it's a long shot. You you realize that you're showing off 
everything with your screen share. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see here. No fog of war. Fog of war is a lie. <laughs> now, okay, there's enough clues right. now for you guys to go with for the next five minutes. Did you come close at all, Mister? Got an eighteen. That's not no. Uh, yeah, that's not good. No. All right, so you're back at the door, and you know that this one Darrow was fleeing down this doorway before you slayed him, and mm -hmm. here we are. Yeah, before you give the man a colonoscopy. Yeah. So the girl's secure. Um, the door is unclosed. You ignored it, and you're focusing on the hallway. Is that the is that the plan? Mm -hmm. That's my plan. Everyone concur? Hey, there's yep. Kyle. Yeah. I, I am terribly sorry, Darren. I just got your message. I was in the middle of a game of uh, Company of Heroes. I didn't see what time it was. Oh, no, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad you can make it, or if you can. No, I'm, uh, I'm good. I just I need to grab my dice real fast, and uh, other than that, I should be fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, so let's start. <laughs> let's start where we're we supposed to start. My, my apologies. So go ahead, Somos. We'll let you act first. You're in front. You've taken the lead. You can actually move your token. Each uh, hex is 10 feet. Mm -hmm. And you'll see when as soon as you go into the hallway, there's a door on the left. Yep. Secured. Okay. Now you, you tell... Now you can role play this, and I encourage everyone to start role playing. Let's do this. Uh... Mm -hmm. Get into this. All right, guys, it's clear. So everybody's going to assemble by the door and get into formation. Yeah. Uh, the breeding slave will be okay. She's unattended. Uh, yeah. And so you know, Tyrath always oh, gone. So there's Sprite. There's Somos. He's at the entrance we had. Uh, Brother That's Merrick the, is alive and well. As we finally got him. As we was finally able to climb up. Oh, I got. Oh, my mom's phoning me. All right, it's a happy birthday call. Hold on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the mom, man. Yeah. So which door are we going to? The one where the, one the on dead the left bear. Right here, where, the one on yeah, the left right here. When that Daryl died. Yeah. Okay. All right. Somos is up there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How how do we want to proceed through this door? Um, well, I'm waiting for Darren to come back. Yeah. Do not do not ask the half orc that question. That is a very good way to say I'm going to kick the damn thing in. Oh, even, the, even the dwarf is thinking that right now. <laughs> Granted, you, you you did spend a couple rounds failing to climb a wall. It wasn't even a wall. It was a slope of spree. Out. I mean, you you would get like halfway up, then climb again, then you'd fall back to like that halfway point. Yeah, that happens. I'm also wearing fucking filled plate, so yeah, doesn't exactly help either. It is not. Okay, here we go. Okay, each square is 10 feet. If you're a small person, you can, uh, there could be like two people can occupy 10 foot square area unless they have large weapons. Mm. Which I do. Yeah. And Sprite, you're small. You can yeah. actually fit in there. Brother Merrick, he slips by you guys and goes down the hallway a little ways. Mm -hmm. And he's looking, he's going to explore up ahead. Okay. Well, um, and I told him it was clear up to there. Okay. He's going to just post guard up at the corner, though. Have you looked around the corner? Yeah. Okay. You Yeah. You see there's... It turns around the corner up ahead. 
and there's more cave-ins. Yeah. yeah. That's why I came back and said it's clear. And then right. we'll see about this door. All right. Tyrath. Yes. You want to move up in Tanrail, yeah. of course. Yeah, we'll go ahead. I'm gonna move. Is that are these Dara warriors that are all standing here dead? They yes. are all dead. Okay. That's why there's lots and lots of blood. Okay. Well, I just don't I didn't see if they're marked dead, so I'm I'm moving. Okay, there we are. There you guys are marked. Uh, let's just say those. the dwarf had a lot of fun. That was me trying to catch yeah. up with myself. Okay, now I'm back where I need to be. Draw I'm with Sambos. Just don't come near me, Dad. I don't want to have to eat you. And so far, things are quiet. Oh, hang on. A, yes. a weird door of Daryl make in front of you. It's it's functional, well made, but kind of crude yet. The gnome and the dwarf might smirk. Um, is it locked? No. Um, locked. Is it open in or out? Oh, and one more thing. When back in the temple. You did notice toward your side, actually, where you guys have, were having the combat, there mm -hmm. was a altar at one point that had been shattered. Yeah, you told us. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm checking the door to see if it opens in or out. Do you want the gnome to go first? Opens into the room. Opens into the room. All right. Okay. Um, the gnome is not a thief. We don't have a thief among us. No, we don't. So I'm just going to take lead because I have the most hit points. Mm -hmm. um, and I will slowly open the door. Sprite will back you up from behind. Right, so I guess we're going yeah. with the trap finder is now the person with the most hit points. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you don't have a thief. Yeah, whoever has the most hit points. I'm the tank. I'm the tank. That's that's all that can be said about it. You know. He has now, the he's DDO, roll, designated there's a room now, and you see that this room it was it, it's shattered like the rest. There's parts of the ceiling collapsed and cracks on the wall and the floor, and uh, just debris, garbage, and you see though it's occupied by another group of Darrow, and they're currently. There's there's a small bar, part of them at one side of the room. They're huddled around some. There's a cask with an object in it, and they were huddled around it. And there's two on the other end of the room. And we'll roll for a surprise. And you guys get a bonus on this. You guys get uh, plus one. All right. Because like they're to sort of them? occupied, but they're sort of ready. These two are supposed to be watching the door. But they're drunk. No, <laughs> not this time. Mm -hmm. And I rolled low. You guys probably surprised. I mean, you did. You actually did. They rolled a two. Unless you guys roll a one. Come right. on, Jester. Roll it. Three. So you, you got... surprise them. You have one segment to act. These two at the bottom see you, and they're going to obviously yell an alarm. And the other ones will clue in as the door opens. Um mm -hmm. Two of them are special. You haven't seen any of the two dressed like this. Um, mm -hmm. The two in the northern part are special. They have these uh, robes on and this sort of tark. It's this big plate of kind of black mithril with gems on it and stuff. And they mm -hmm. appear to have some sort of powers. They are they're turning quicker than the other ones. They're they're actually quite fast and powerful. They were kind of talking over top of this cask, like I said, which something was in. And they're going to react. You guys do get a surprise round. So almost you're sort of in, you're in front. Yeah. So you, you have one segment to act, and then we'll roll initiative. Charging. So he's 10 feet away. Yeah, you can swing and hit him. So this guy, he just... He grabs his weapon, goes to react, but you just go at him and get a free attack, basically. And I roll a 19. That will do. Yeah. This one's got a, a war pick and shield. Okay. Um, I'm hitting him with the maul. He's got a war pig. <laughs> 
Isn't that Ozzy Osbourne? Hey, 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 hey. You're joking about that? We were playing DCC on Saturday, uh, Friday night, and I shit you not, one of the guys had a sow. <laughs> nice. I did 10 damage. Right. And <laughs> crack takes part of it off his buckler, but it clips right up and takes shears across. Um, Tyrath, you're next. Uh, seeing this horde of Darrow, I'm going to start chanting and preparing a uh, bless. Okay. Okay. It'll affect next round. Yep. Uh, Tan Riel. Riel. Uh all right, I'm going to. You see, Somos go running in and attack. Rah! Of course, he does. And you can role play your actions again, of course, and <clears throat> describe what you're going to do. I'm just screaming at these guys in Dwarven, and I'm like, I miss the open seas. But... Wow! <laughs> hey, you, you hit him. Uh, I'm going to grab beer, Jeff. Hold on. No problem. I could technically drink tonight, but I'm not going to. While he's grabbing a beer, I'm going to grab something to drink because here in a second, I got to take meds. Oh, I don't have a whole lot I can do. Uh... No, nope. for me, I can just stab something until it dies. Well, I can cast it, 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 spell, but I have like air and web, and that's uh, didn't it. I... We got you like what ten arrows back? Something like that. Yeah. I am completely out of spells. Me? Well, I'm almost, but. I just got to put one in the ring, and then I'll be able to do something. I think I'm just going to activate biofeedback. Biofeedback? Yes. All, All right. right. I love your psionic powers. Tanriel. I'm going to try to activate biofeedback so that I take two points of da less damage from any attack that does damage. Oh. <laughs> so, and that just uh, eats up some psi points? You're yeah, but... It yep. cost me six to cast it and then three around to maintain it. Mm -hmm. Is that one of the ones that goes off automatically without a power check? Uh, no, I have to power check. Now, Brian, I think he's busy with his weekly call thing. So No, his uh, his computer won't stop freaking out. He detects oh. it in the girt. I'm going to have him attend the Breathing Slave. Okay. You, guys dumped her, you guys dumped her in the tunnel. And it'll reduce my AC by one, so I'll be harder to hit. Uh, but um, I fail miserably, so I lose six side points, and there goes my turn. <laughs> shit. So you have to. Ah, ow, damn it. My brain. Is, I have to roll under my con, which is, is not my best stat. Yeah. So. Brother Merrick sees, hears Somos charge in the room, murder, uttering one of his. Uh, I don't know. I guess one of his sea god. I literally, I literally ran in going, I miss the open seas. <laughs> and Brother Merrick sees that. Oh, could he get by? Actually, Tyrath is in his way. Tyrath would have been a little aside. Well, no. I knew someone could just step over the no. One, two, three, four. Brother Merrick runs into the room and suddenly sees that there is more Darrow in here and goes, oh shit. And that's what he can do. He can back up and go back to back with Somos. Sprite, you're by the door and he's Somos just rushes in. Rah, and then you can see into the room somewhat. Gonna just move in and hit something that's closest. Just hit the closest Darrow. Technically, you don't know those Darrow at the north of the room. Uh, 
Somo said that there's we got company. There's he mentioned there's Darrow in here. So mm. go ahead. You can move your character in. That's only twenty feet in. Mm. And then suddenly yeah. you'll see that there's a group, and you'll see these special ones that have these robes and these torques, and these cr their crazy fanatical look and their white milky eyes mm -hmm. as as they're preparing stuff like they what their turn. You can actually attack one. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. This one. Yeah, this guy's actually close, yeah. and he's like taken aback and like what? All right. Short sword, come on, don't fail me now. Seventeen plus one, eighteen. Okay, these have great AC, but I don't think it'll help them with that. Eighteen roll. That's a hit. Alright, and that's a D six. Indeed. With any bonuses. Yeah, plus and plus one from the sword, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Six plus one, seven. Nice. Yeah. Oh, now if you draw blood, this thing ah, goes, you know, is hit. Uh, All right. And time for a minus two attack with one of my daggers. All right. Multi. Natural 20. Ooh, okay, roll percentage die. All right. If you get over 75, you do triple damage. If you get over 95, that's a potential, that's quadruple damage. If you get a zero zero, he's dead. Eighty nine. Okay, triple damage. Okay. Triple damage, and that's a D four, right? Yeah, plus one. Four. Another four. One. And plus one to eight, nine, ten. You definitely uh, drew blood, messed him up. He's, he didn't kill him though. And he's, yeah, and it's like he's trying. He's blocking, but you're you you actually you drew blood, and mm -hmm. that's the surprise round. So now we roll initiative. Okay. Who's rolling our initiative right now? I rolled a six. Um, Eric's been rolling high on initiative. I rolled a six as well. So it's simultaneous. All actions are happening at once, so they're all resolved, no matter what. And we can start with your, your party, if you want. But uh, yeah. I'll keep track on paper what happens, and then at the end, I'll just tally it. So okay. we're starting with Somos. Unless, okay, start with spells first. So uh, Bless goes off, and that's a plus one to all saves and attack rolls, I do believe. I'm going to double check again because I haven't looked at it in a while. All right. Plus one to all attack rolls. Uh, plus one morale. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eric, or not Eric, but uh, Darren. Yep. Do you treat uh, psionics as spells or do we want to treat those as actions? <laughs> yeah. So uh, what's, what would be the difference? Um, Just where I go in the round, that's all. Yeah. They would be spells. Okay. Yep. Oh, uh, I need That's to know. Good question. Uh, how, yeah, you're right. No, they'd be spells. How, how big of a um how big of a uh square are each of these, Darren? Ten foot. So I've got six inches, which is we're indoors, right? Yep. Yeah. So six feet. So basically I'm the only one that gets hit by it. No, no, that bless that's sixty feet. Oh, so, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's one inch is ten feet. I'm sorry. Right. Yeah, so I, I so, put a aura around your character. Okay, so, so basically everyone's getting hit by it. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and everybody now just you can like I say, role play, describe what you do. Mm -hmm. Uh I'll assume Tyrath, you evoke your god of vengeance. I'm gonna scream out a vengeful cry and I'm gonna bless everybody in the process. <laughs> vengeful oh, cry. <laughs> oh hmm, the irony. And you guys so, have felt that bless before, like Tyrath mm -hmm. has used it a few times. I remember. By the way, Darren, okay, I, I guess, find uh, out my dog's killing himself, so give me a second, guys. Gotcha. I, uh, I successfully. It's the yellow. You see the yellow haze right now over no. everything? No, not a very. Yeah, I do. It's covering everything. Yeah, yeah. That's the aura. Yeah. So, Darren? Yeah. 
Uh, I successfully activated adrenaline control and I got my power score. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to add, uh, instead of splitting the D6 points between uh, each of my attributes, whatever I roll on a D6 goes to, uh, the same number goes to strength, dexterity, and constitution for as long as I hold this up. So find yourself a uh, icon you can put on your character that you can personalize. Uh, you know what, you know what I'm saying? That would that would remind me and you that you have this function uh, on. Well, let me find myself first. Uh, let me find myself. Find yourself. I'm going to find myself. Okay, so that was a success. We are now to what happened here? But I need to roll a d6, so I'm going to use the alien because it's a psionic ability. Mm-hmm. Nice. Uh, now, your brother is back with the breathing slave and getting some kind of in- interesting in- information. I'll get back to you with that. So I now effectively have uh, two extra points to my uh, strength, constitution, and dex. So uh, that'll affect mm-hmm. saves and damage. Yeah. Wow. Like so you kind of just suddenly become quite powerful. Like yeah. what's the, uh, the missile hit adjustment for an 18 dex? Plus three. Yeah. I think it's, yeah, I was going to say it's plus three and then minus like two. or. So three that's impressive. Normal. So sonically you enhanced your very presence physically and it just ballooned up and, yeah, normally it would give me a D6 points to split between the three attributes, but I rolled exactly my power score of 10. So uh-huh. I each one gets the number I rolled. And cool. unfortunately, I just rolled a 2 instead of a 6. Oh, I see. Yeah, you could have been you could have been like a frost yeah. giant strength. I, well, I could have had a strength of 16, a con of 19 and a dex of 22. Oh, wow. <laughs> Your speed would have been up 20 and okay, yeah. uh and you, like as I said, your brother now QP is fluttering in behind you and okay. lands on your shoulder. And brother Merrick, he sees that Sprite is alone, assaulting, and he sees that there's a a guy with a crossbow, one of those repeaters with the magazine on it. He's up there about to turn and shoot, and it's simultaneous, so he is shooting. There's another one of these student Darrow back there who's suddenly getting large. Oh, no. No, you don't. No. Very Not large. Her. It's not that. Like, it's he's, he's growing and growing, and his head is getting up to the ceiling. If he stood up straight, he would probably be 11, 12 feet tall. Damn it, Thomas and- stopped turning on the Darrow. <laughs> uh, Brother Merrick did run forward and he attacked the archer mm-hmm. and does his best. Momentum. Well, I kept one of them. Okay, he whiffs. Ah, ah, he gets another attack and he misses. He's up there doing his best and doing his karate moves. Um, uh. Just he's hitting plate mail and chain. <laughs> he's. Ah, not effective. And uh oh, and you see that that one student just got big. It tripped you out, Sprite. You're just like, holy shit! Now that is benefit to you, by the way. No more hints. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. It is your turn, Sprite. All right, I'm gonna stab the one that I already started stabbing. The, oh yeah, this guy, and he's casting think- a spell, and he's looking right at you, like he's gonna. All right. That's and it's gonna happen of- though. Yeah. Pardon? Total of 19 to hit? That will hit. All right. Guys, when you're rolling to hit, don't forget your plus one from Bless. Bless. All right. right. Four points of damage from the short sword. Yep. Okay. Come on, dagger. This guy's AC is pretty good. 21 to hit? (laughs) Not that good. Yeah. All right, come on. Five total damage. Wow, he was 
He was looking you in the eye with these milky white eyes. He was casting a spell. And And even though this happens simultaneously, he's casting it. Like he's, and you feel yourself just suddenly not wanting to kill him. So desperately not wanting to kill him. You can't hurt him. As your dagger drives into him. Oh, this is tricky because he cast a charm person spell on you. So I'm going to give him a. You're going to have to save, but I'm going to give you a big bonus. Okay. Uh, you got a, a plus six bonus. Plus six to the save? Yeah, on spells. And that, that'll that probably <laughs> actually be default. What is your save? A, my save on spells is eight. Uh, okay, well, well, okay. <laughs> if you roll one or two. <laughs> All right. 19 plus six that was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So you look okay. Describe how he goes to, to, to take control of you and become I imagine, your best I imagine, friend. I imagine you felt, these, you felt these emotions for a minute. Now take it. Imagine, imagine as I'm driving the dagger in, I have like a brief glimmer of like, do I want to kill you? Then I feel the spell encroaching. And I'm like, nope. Oh, under the armor. That was a powerful character, you guys. So I was like, oh, Sprite's gonna get killed. He runs in here. Um, you killed this guy. Yeah. I sort of just let him fall off the dagger. He slumps like... off your dagger and just, <laughs> and you could, he was, you could tell he had powers and stuff. And yeah, uh, Sprite uh, makes a remark of like, that's what you get for trying to charm me. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Somos. Hi. There's two um, guys. They're both armed. One has got a pick. The other guy's got one of those hooked, uh, Halberks, where they try to hook you and, and make you prone. Yeah. Shard. I'm gonna I'm gonna follow through with my swing, and then just come back the opposite way against this guy's melon. The wounded one, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. And it's a hit, but it's not. Well, wait. What's the AC? Um, four. I see a four. Yeah, it's a hit. <coughs> Pardon me. Not, not of natural 20, though. <laughs> we had a total of 16. So. Oh, that's a hit then. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Three, seven, 11. Maximum damage. 11 damage? 11 damage. Okay, he had. Okay, describe your actions. He is. Uh, I already yeah. did. I, I hit him the once, and then I reversed my swing and brought it across his head. Um, I'd it. like to see blood spurts. <laughs> that deserves a blood spurt. Nice. Uh, how did I do that again? Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's like at a Gallagher concert, you know? I mean, he just... Yeah. You know. Oh, I'm a little slow. I haven't done this for a while. That's funny. Yeah. Hey, hold on. Smack! <laughs> wow, that was a little bit more impressive than I thought it would be. That was a big burst. <laughs> I had it. He, he went Kurosawa. No, you know. <laughs> that was, yeah, Blood he goes everywhere. down. He, he, he just <laughs> crumples. <laughs> uh, okay, Tyrath. So you cast the bless, it kicks in, if all's good, and you can right. act now. Well, Tyrath is going to bull rush on up here next to Somos, and the guy that's standing next to him, he's going to take a swing at him, but i got to look at my numbers again. So that with his bastard sword, he's going to be plus two to hit, plus three, two damage. What is my current? They go 17. Oh, they're wearing armor, aren't they, Aaron? Oh, yeah. Shit. Um, mm-hmm. What's his AC? AC four. So it's like uh, for bastard sword. It's like, it's it's like ring mill. Like, yeah, he's got to treat a long sword like a long sword for this purpose. Yeah. Oh, well done on the armor table. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I gotta dig out the armor table real fast. There's nowhere to put it on the character sheet. And roll twenty. What are you using? A long sword? Yeah, a long. I think it, it was there's his bastard sword. Much. No, it's not. It's when a, you get a plus one on AC yeah, four. I don't I gotta look it up. Mm-hmm. Fast. Remember that one. I gotta That's remember a, to keep this book open to this. Bastard sword kicks ass. Uh, nope, zero. 
Actually, so it's a plus. So it's just a plus two to hit. Roger. A nineteen, Darren. <laughs> that will hit. So it'll make a twenty-one. You guys just a, burst in this room, creature. man, and just. Whoa. <laughs> he's a small. He's considered a small creature, right? Yes. Okay, so two D four plus two. <laughs> you do see that big fucker. So <laughs> yeah. So, so Darren, ceiling. it's gonna it's gonna be six damage, but Tyrath is just gonna bring his sword down okay. and. Bury that bitch into his clavicle. Ooh. Ooh. And, well, that's why they have helmets. Or, or sorry, shoulder pads, clavicle. Pauldrons. And, days. yeah, it, it shears off his, his shoulder and takes off. Armor flies, but he's he's good for it. It hits. He shudders, but still active. Um, Brian is talking with the slave. And mm -hmm. I did that loud. Okay. That's two rounds. Uh, no, wait, Tanril, you go this round yet? You cast your spell, right? That I cast my psionic ability, yeah. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. And Merrick went. Everybody went. Now it's their turn. Now, mm -hmm. even though you killed that guy, Somos, he gets to attack you. Yeah, it's time to Yeah. So we'll do that. And well, it's time to think it's he's got this wicked pike move. He does a dual action. He tries to butt you with this. This buckler has a spike on it. And he tries to, oh, 19. Bring it, softy. And it, it works. His spike catches flesh. You didn't quite notice it. Does three points damage. And then, he's, and then he swings with his, uh, misses with his, his pick. And he's screaming in this weird kind of voice. And then the other guy who is fighting Tyrath. He's mutilating. He's got that yeah. weapon that could possibly, uh, uh, well, forget it. He rolled a three, and he does not catch your ankle. You just you're strong as a rock. Is hulking half orc. Nice try. Strong, who, who, by the strong, way, has really like a one armor class. By the way, now we resolve the issue with the charm effect on you, yeah. Sprite, yeah. and that happened, and it was intense. And but you just like oh, slipped him off your dagger, and he slumps. Mm -hmm. Brother Merrick. Oh, well, Brother Merrick's Brother Merrick. Um, this large guy steps mm -hmm. forward, Sprite, yeah. and attacks you. <laughs> and he just right. goes to just smash you with his fist. And you're looking at a friggin' 11 foot Darrow. All right. Now make a, a saving throw. Okay. Saves and again. What is that? Uh... Now it's it's now this is at disadvantage. You got to make two rolls and take the, uh, the least. All right. Well, which one is this? Dex. It's a, strength? a save versus petrification polymorph. Petrification polymorph. All right. I got a whole roll higher than a thirteen. All right, 18 and 17. And you had to take the least of those, but you did roll great. Yeah. Now you realize that this is something wrong here. This large being, you see a multiple layers of it. There's, it's, you see a smaller being inside of it. <laughs> I'll give you that hint and... Tell me if you can catch the clue that I gave you. What do you see? Is he using Alter Self? Yes and no. It's illusional. Oh. But you have to believe it. Damn gnomes. <laughs> Damn it. That's my response. Damn gnomes. You made the yeah. save, so you're like, there's something wrong. And yeah. this large creature comes in. But it's not a large creature. Okay. But if I so this logical tra tracks the logical question, Darren. If you mm -hmm. believe it's a large creature, does your weapon deal damage as if it's a large creature, or does the weapon just not apply? To that it? is a good question. No, it wouldn't. It would be on okay. a small because the weapon because oh. the weapon recognizes that it's, it's an illusion. Weapon. Yeah, ah, okay. change self. That's what I'm thinking now, of. The weapon yes. doesn't see. That's what I'm thinking of. Now, okay, he he hits you. You didn't. S well, you said it. I'll split it in half because he's plus four in his attack right now. All right. 
So it's plus two against an AC two. I rolled a seven, and he does weapon specialize. He does get two attacks this round. All right. Uh, what's your AC? Two, you say? Yeah, AC two. Nice. He needs a, a 13 to hit you. Oh, he got a 12. Yes. Ah, and he just... Woof, woof. I imagine he goes low, I jump up, he goes high, I sort of just make it in time. Oh, did you forget to add your minus four? Minus that's four if, what? That's if, if you would accept the illusion against large creature. No, it was a uh, changed self. I. <laughs> it's a conundrum, see. isn't it? It's like, hmm, wait a minute. Because you get, against large creatures, your your minus four would have been almost an advantage to believe it's real. Ooh, so large yeah. creature. <laughs> but I made the save against it. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like, wait a minute. Um. So. It misses. I'm moving down the line. Okay, Brother Merrick. Oh, shit. Okay, this one who has the crossbow. It's one downside to also being a magic, magic user. I was able to pinpoint the spell. Okay, there's. Uh, he hits with the crossbow on Brother Merrick for three points damage. Brother Merrick has to make a saving throw. Versus poison. And he rolled... Oh, shit. Hmm. Oh wait, that's a that's a save. That's a good thing. You gotta roll high. I was like thinking, oh shit, you rolled sixteen. Okay, he's not poisoned. That poison, you take two die six damage on that poison. You guys know that from earlier. But he did get hit by one bolt. The other one missed. This other Darrow war warrior attacks Brother Merrick with his uh, unbalancing weapon, his hooked thingamajigger. And he hits Brother Merrick, so he has 30% chance, but he's a monk, so he does not flip him. But he does 1 die 4 damage. And he does 3. So Brother Merrick's taking some hits. And who's next? I haven't gone yet, so... Right. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to fire an arrow at one of the Darrow's here. Let me look and see what I've got. Yeah, you could get one by Brother Merrick. The one with the repeating crossbow is in, is clear. You won't hit Brother Merrick, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I will take a shot at him, and I'm in the bless, and my ability's open, so I've got plus four to hit. Right. My bow. Well, actually, plus five, because I'm an elf. Uh, and naturally get a plus one. So, Dave being an elf. Yeah, I Unfortunately, I have a wizard back though, so let's see how much it helps. Yeah. Roger. Oh, that's a 22, so that'll hit. Ooh. Yeah. Thunk. Damage. Yeah. Uh, right now. All right. Hit him right in the eye. Because yeah. believe it or not, I hit a minus three. That definitely there was a, a D six in this, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Four points of damage. Still something. Yep, it's a good start. You can shoot two arrows around. Yeah, let me take my second shot. That's going to be a twenty. So I hit with that one too. Indeed. One damage. One damage. Woohoo! Thank you, roll twenty. <laughs> it, it giveth, it taketh. Um, I'm just gonna zip down. We're off to Tanriel, Tenneth, and that's the end of the round. Well, I'm gonna be honest. Right. Most dice rollers that are supposedly random aren't that random. So. Yeah. No, but it, they're not biased, though. They're not like I'm gonna. Rip you off, but they are fickle and weird. Uh, actual I, dice are biased. Yeah, well, yeah. My um, dice love me. Oh, and, oh yeah. Um, yeah. This weekend, I no longer believe <laughs> dice are non malevolent. <laughs> hey, five, I, I, five ones in a row in a DCC game. 
What's the fucking probability on that? Like one in ten thousand? I I have oh, two. Weird. I have two white d8s, and as long as I'm rolling versus a dwarf or not a dwarf, a druid, they roll an eight every time I roll them. As long as I'm attacking a, a druid with them. I mean, the only way I would say. I rolled a four for initiative. New round. Hey, just sec. I rolled a five. <laughs> so, uh, spells? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I'm completely out of spells. Time for okay. angry, angry, angry smash face. <laughs> hey, missiles? Oh, pick me, pick me. <laughs> All right, so you still have that one target. The other ones are risky. There's people in the way. Frankly, uh, well, I will sh mm -hmm. I'll shoot the one that's easy for me to shoot. So, all right, or mm -hmm. less risky. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that eighteen will hit. Mm -hmm. Jeff, two points of damage. No, Jeff I'm a mage and I'm out of spells. <laughs> Jeff's a chicken. He won't shoot the hard shots. <laughs> and that's a miss because we have a chance of hitting our own people. Uh, <laughs> any spells? Nobody. No, nobody said spells. Okay. Yeah, spells. Uh, I'm gonna move right to Somos, who is at the top of the order. Go ahead. Now, yeah, you and Tyra. Uh, I was going to say, FYI, uh -huh. at this point, Darren, I have 34 uh, PSPs left. Um, so oh, so uh, if Samos wants to take the first action against this guy, I'm more than happy because I imagine Tyrath is trying to pull his uh, claw, his uh, sword out of this guy's <laughs> shoulder blade. Okay, yeah. You have to act, though. It's your yeah, move. No, I, I know. I'm just saying if... Uh, I thought it was uh, Samos. Me and yeah, Samos are... I'm about to take care of this. this yeah, thing. if he wants to kill him, that's fine with me. I don't okay, care. swing away, Samos. Um, I guess you give him a quick nod. Finish him. <laughs> I'm bringing it down on the top of his head. Why don't you go in the other shoulder? Insult uh, the injury. Probably because I rolled a modified 20... What is it? That would be a 22? Jesus nice. Christ. <laughs> That was my best roll yet, but then again, bless is in effect. Yeah. Crack. So damage. So six. I mean, there's a picture of the natural 20 and messenger from me. There's um, oh, nice. another 10 points of damage to him. Oh, ouch. Hey, he doesn't go down, but boy, they, there's blood. And <laughs> Show this, me some blood! This arrow is actually... Putting up much of a fight. Is it time for Tyrath to try to finish off the poor bastard? <laughs> just dig it out, and that'll probably hurt him just as much. <laughs> okay, Darren, nat twenty. So I need to get some percentage dies out. Hang on. Are you actually? Are you swinging at that schmuck? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> I don't. Well, do right now, he has two hit points, so it does. Can, oh, he's gonna die. You I can have fun with this one. Yeah, I just want to see what it looks like here. <laughs> Let's be honest. How many times in a row can I? Uh, Give this again. Okay, I don't. I'm only doing double damage because I only got a 54. So well, I'm doing six plus. I'm doing 16 points of damage to him. <laughs> so Darren, I bring this sword back around. I rip it out of his shoulder. I bring it back around, and I just I bisect him. And like his top half falls off into the floor. <laughs> he is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not pretty. <laughs> Gorgeous shot. Oh, my dice are loving me tonight. That's that's good for me. <laughs> and you guys are doing really well, by the way. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to arrange that blood splatter so it goes backward <laughs> off his head. How's that? <laughs> that works. <laughs> so we have two. Like, Samos puts one down with a maul to the face. And put oh, one yeah. Vivisecting it. Blah, 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 blah. The two warriors. But... Uh and, uh, the right uh, flank is weak, so well, as uh, for funsies, Tyrat's gonna lift the sword to his uh, mouth, and he's gonna lick the blood off. Oh, classic! Oh. Fork tongue. Yep, very much uh, so. He's gonna look exactly like an orc at this point. Mm -hmm. Now they're all screaming like friggin' banshees up there. The <laughs> Darrow now Tanriel. I guess it's your move. Uh, well, I've already gone. I shot my two arrows. Oh, that's right. Okay, and Tanith. Mm -hmm. Now, he's coming back now with the slave. Okay, that's happening. Brother Merrick is like, oh, shit. 
Okay, this one's really wounded. He knows that. He's going to try. He gets only one attack this round. So he's going to go into this Kung Fu stance and do this reverse kick. And then on the Oriental Adventures, he can do a major action on this one. And he misses. Yeah. Nope, don't drop that. And Sprite, bring it up. All right. The order. Come on. You got this huge thing in front of you. And you're, you're, you know some, something's weird about it. Yeah. I'm just going to stab in the general direction where I know the smaller thing is. Uh, can you do better than that? Okay, um, make a wisdom save. Wisdom save against wisdom it? Check. All right. Just a wisdom check. That'd be a one. Okay, you see a friggin' Daryl now. And this guy, he's there and he's grinning and stuff. Everyone else still sees this giant Darrow, but you see him clear as a bell. I'm just gonna stab him in the chest with the short sword. Oh, all right. Just gonna be like, "Hey, he, this is nineteen plus definitely two. nineteen to hit." And he's surprised because you spear him like this was gonna have an effect of blur. It would have given him plus four in his AC, but that's negated. Six plus one, seven damage. Oh, I surprised him. He All drew right. blood. Dagger, come on. Natural 20. Wow. Bend. So roll your percentage. Okay. Slash roll D100. Rolling 69. Dude. Now, to me, that's... That's actually an uh, open-ended roll. What that means, nope. that turns to a 96. That turns it, to a 96? Because it's 69. All so right. you, do, just, you do triple damage. All right. See, it has to turn around nine, 96, or you have to turn, you go back the other way. All right. Three, Two. four, another three, so. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten times three. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he's he's very dead. Uh, you guys suddenly see this huge Darrow immediately shrink <laughs> into this small form that's impaled on the dagger of Sprite. <laughs> and they're actually Sprite's pretty tiny though even he's small compared to Darrow but Darrow's are like only four feet tall but Sprite's like underneath him and just like dagger in the groin I'd say more above the hip like in the, the small intestine it, well like I said I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that to a man <laughs> wow I'm, I'm impressed <laughs> actually you guys took care of a, a, a major threat there and the, that magic user you took out Sprite wow I'm impressed. Two magic users. Oh, remember, every 20 natural 20, you get 50 experience points. All right. So, telling those up. It's... Now, there are two Darrow fanatics left, these warriors who were guards. Uh, the two priests are dead. Now, <laughs> Sprite killed them both. I didn't plan on that, but... <laughs> yeah. uh, who's next? Oh, that's the end of the round. So, now it's their turn. This one with the repeating crossbow it turns and shoots Sprite in desperation. What's your AC? Two. Oh, damn. I think one of those hits, the 14. Yeah, that's a 14. That's a hit. Okay. Make a const, uh, uh, poison save. You take poison three points damage, by the way. Okay. The Got a roll higher than a 14 on that. 15, just barely made it. Okay, you don't take two die eight damage. Ouch. You take three instead. You live. No. It wasn't that bad. Could have been ugly, though. Um, the guy with the uh, hooked thing tries to hook. Oh, idiot. No, he just tries to stab him. And he whiff McWhiffs. And we're now down to two Darrow. Who are determined probably to die. They all seem to be crazy fuckers. Uh, initiative. They're Darrow. They should want to die. Mm -hmm. 
that archer's got two bolts left as long as you know you've checked out the magazines they hold six bolts each mm -hmm. yeah all right uh top of the order somos uh i rolled a four five or is that a four that's a five that's a five okay uh any spells i'm out of spells any <laughs> talk about the missiles <laughs> Tyrat's the only one spells like this is not right. good. You spend most of the you spend most of the last combat climbing up a slope. Yes. Do I still have a uh, a shot on that one guy, or is he dead? You do. He's actually the only. He's one of the schmucks left. He's alive. They're the archer and the guy with the big halberd pike. All right. That'll hit. That will hit. Three points of damage. Doink doink doink. Oh, oh, natural 20 for the second shot. Awesome. Oh, nice. Uh, percentage die. All right. 58, so double damage. Double damage. You want me to roll two sixes or just double what I roll? Up to you. Okay. Three, seven. Oh, yes. He he's down. Like, he's peppered. You've been peppering him for the last three rounds. And he, you can see he's, he's hurt desperately, um, but yet lives and fanatical. Uh, no other missiles? Sprite? Or no, who's close? Who can actually act first? I thought I acted first. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, go ahead. I want to see what he does first before I decide to get him butcher. Okay, that's close enough. That's less than a third of your movement. Yep. I'm charging and uppercut to the nuts. With a natural 20. With them all. Ow. Okay, this guy's fresh, quote unquote, until this moment. So roll your percentage roll. Nuts. What nuts? Ninety-one. That's triple damage. Okay, so his testicles have now replaced his eyeball. <laughs> he just—it's not pretty. Um, yeah. Let's see what happens. I'll tell you right now: these these fighter guys, these guards, have eighteen HP. Nine, ten, so thirty damage. It's not pretty. <laughs> it's definitely not, not, definitely not pretty. Um, his, you disavow him <laughs> with, a you know, with a blunt tool. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> picture that. <laughs> That's your third colonoscopy. Uh, you know what? That deserves some blood splatter. I think. Yeah, you you knocked his guts out through his mouth. <laughs> Are we playing fatal here? Did he hit his xiphoid process? Oh God! <laughs> he, he, <laughs> he's hemorrhaging heavily as he slumps over in a fetal position, clutching his groin. <laughs> and, uh, the way these guys—that's a tough—that's a tough, that's a tough uh, spot to hit, man. I'm be honest with you. Oh, yeah. so this last guy with one hit point left, with the repeating crossbow. Tyrath uh, wants his bite at the apple here. <laughs> oh, Tyrath. Well, do you, want, do you, want Merrick, to you can run up. Brother Merrick is in the way. Yeah, you but can... friendly units, you should go push around them. Unless there's a reason. Yes and no. Depends. But in this circumstance, he just. <laughs> he's he'll, in a he'll, let <laughs> he'll give up his attack, is what he'll okay, do. So, so go ahead. Uh, so I'm swinging a 16. It's like, go at six it. Damage. 16 he, for 6 damage. He took some damage, Brother Merrick. Yeah. Well, I can yeah. help him in a second. But uh, is a six? I'm it's guessing the hitting armor, armor class hitting armor class one is going to hit this guy. Indeed. Oh, yeah. And he's going to take six damage as Tyrant just boom, rushes up to him and just rams his sword straight through his guts. And it's, again, not quite bloody <laughs> and effective. <laughs> the problem is now Tyrant is going to shake him off. He's gonna as this combat wraps off, everyone else is kind of cleaning up, and Tyrath is trying to clear his sword off. So he has to get his foot on this poor sod and sh pull his sword back as he's shoving this freaking Darrow to the floor. Mm -hmm. 
beautiful. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wow. I'm wondering how many times we can kill, like, can we kill people more brutally, Darren? Is it possible? Yeah. It's got, it's, but well deserved. These friggin' yeah. Darrow, they work in these slaves and eating them and stuff and the whole what and whatnot. So things go quiet and the smell of blood and, and adrenaline is in the air. And you suddenly realize that this was a special room in a sense that they had the last remnant of the survivors had assembled here to look at something. And there's a casket. Yeah. The um, sprite's going to check these uh, bodies of these magic users or casters of some kind. Yeah. So for now, things are quiet. Everyone can describe what they want to do. Brother Merrick, um, he's a bit hurt. Oh, wait. <laughs> it didn't explode in blood. <laughs> that was uh, oh. He says, ah, I'm doing okay. But I'm bruised and tired. This actually might be a good room if it's uh if it's only got one door to rest in. Shut the door if we bar it, we sleep. And we keep a watch. You want to do oh, a yeah. long sleep? Everyone's out of spells and people are hurt. Why not? Bar the door with everybody in here and Yep. Uh and I can rest. Cast bodies up fact, and in fact, Darren, I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna walk over to Merrick, I'm gonna put my hand on his forehead and basically power of the Christ compels him for Three hit points, two hit points back because I cast cure on him. Right. Uh, your brother comes into the room, by the way, Tyrell, with the hey. uh, breathing slave. Nice of you to join us. I'm just putting it back on the hook. Just well, you're your kids. Remember your kids. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> that doesn't mean that I can't tell him nice of you to join us. <laughs> the sarcasm <laughs> actually can mind meld it's like give him a rob <sighs> glad you could show okay yeah uh, as far as I know you guys can hold up here if you guys want to take a long rest and get your spells well, back um, and such yeah. uh, do we have um, so this is a legitimately interesting question do we have anything like a spear or something around us that we could use to bar the door we I'm hanging up a shard oh, yeah, you can show me the door body. shut and barricade yeah. it that's what I'm asking yeah. Yeah, if we had the tolls, we'd need to do that. Okay, we got that's fine. Of... Bodies, we got lots of bodies. Um, yeah. they're like furniture. Um, yeah, I'm right. looking at like yeah. I mean, Tyrath's first inclination as a as a warrior is we're not about to leave that door unlocked. So, so this is going to be a six hour rest. Uh, we only get one HP back from rest, correct? Yeah. And right. brother Merrick is going to do a scout. Anyone want to come along? Um, I will. Sure, before, I will. Before we rest, I can be sneaky and uh, quiet. sprites. Before we rest, sprites gonna check those bodies of those casters. Okay, so brother Merrick sneaks outside in the hallway and he says, "Okay, let's go and just check out and see what's. It's quiet. Let's. We can always come back if things are dangerous, right?" I, I hope so. Yeah. Okay, so I'll be right back. That's what I'm, uh, brother Merrick. He says, we still have the other room. We checked out the one place, but the door, I'm not sure about that. I, I, I get strange feeling there, a strange smell. And the other way, where Somos is, is pointing, Somos is down the hallway going, we haven't gone this way yet, or whatever. Yeah, I've looked down that hallway, but we haven't yeah. gone down there. No, and you haven't checked it out. You, you noticed that it, it used to be a, a main passageway that had, had taken some damage and collapsed, and you're not sure if if there's anything there. So I'll be right back. Quick bio, everybody. And yeah, like plan. I need to grab my ankle brace. <clears throat> there you go. Yeah. Oh, you are, you, is that like one of those penal things where you have to electronic bracelet? No, yeah, just a brace. <laughs> ankle brace. <laughs> not, not that thick brace. It's not a fucking flashlight. Oh, and why not? <laughs> Yeah, this will give me time to get my spells back and store. I I only have second level spells, so I can't do the fourth and the third yet. Well, I have a third be, level spell that I know, it. but I can't cast it. So, yeah. considering I only have like three spell slots, I kind of need that third to use. I'm gonna put blur in there because maybe blur. I don't know. That or misdirection or mirror image. They're 
all three of those. Most of my second level spells are really good, but I, it's hard to pick. Oh, all of my spells are shit, but I can occasionally do something like magic missile. Mm -hmm. And my psionic abilities are not really geared towards the kind of combat I would do. It'd have been better if I'd have been a fighter, but I'm a magic mm -hmm. user, so I'll live. Yeah. I mean, you're doing pretty good as an archer. Yeah. Not to mention you can get those arrows back. Yeah, we'll check into that when he comes back. Yeah, I still gotta check those. I still gotta find out what's on those caster's bodies. If they have any spells in those books I can use. Yeah, if they've got magic user spells, I I need them. Yeah. We can always if there's anything that any of either of us any of us spellcasters can use, we'll definitely take it. Especially if there's because I imagine rules still apply for spell books, right? Where you have to, you know, copy and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. The fun part of having to. What's the word I'm looking for? I do, there's a certain. There's a word I'm looking for that was that sort of thing where you're um. I'm going to have to Google this. Copying. Did I send this to you, Kyle? I don't know what and what to me. Uh, I'm going to send you a uh, another picture, okay. which was an awesome shot. I, I congratulate the photographer for getting it, but the meme is funny. Yeah, scribe. Yeah, I was looking for scribing. That's what I was looking for. I may have spent too much time on my feet this weekend. Yeah. At a convention, I can't imagine that. Yeah. We can make it out of there in one piece. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that, though, because the only reason why I'm not currently high on Tylenol 3 is because I'm in this game. So. Mm -hmm. well, I'll be frank about it, dude. Uh, and then on top of it, yesterday afternoon, I was trying to walk out to the car. I hit a fucking patch of mud and damn near broke my right leg. So I have not had a good two weeks. Three weeks. Has it been like both legs have almost been so broken at this point? Almost, you know, well, dumbass almost broke my left leg a couple of weeks ago when he shoulder bumped me. Mm -hmm. and, then and the right one almost went out. Well, like, what happened is it got stuck in a pile of mud when I tripped, and so it got bent all the hell and twisted up. And I don't think I actually yeah. hurt it. I think it's just achy. I think it's just, well, it's stiff from the fucking being bent at an awkward angle, but mm -hmm. my left ankle, he sprained it pretty good. Yeah. By the way, by the way, Jeff, I printed out both uh, Dead Gods and Great Modron March. Did so. you see that they added? Uh, they just added another uh, Planescape thing to print on demand for DM Skilled. No, I did okay. not. But I figured, what the fuck? I've got them on PDF. Why not do this? Well, what I don't blame you. you. I'm just, I'm just saying that they added another one. It was a. Uh, I forget which one it is without looking, but so uh, yeah, um, I bought Al Kadim this last week. Hmm. Nice. What's Al Kadim again? Uh, it's Arabian Nights, like one thousand one. Uh, oh, I, it's, a, it's, it's pre Mohammedan uh, Arabian Desert 
stuff. Oh, cool. It's also incredibly insensitive. It would never be made today. I like it already. <laughs> um, I also got face. So masks. everyone quick decided we're going to take a long rest. We're going to yep, pull up I'm, here, fortify I'm, at the door. Fuck it. This place is dead. It's full of weird shit. Uh, Brother Merrick, though, he said, I'm going to go out. Oh, do you guys want to join me? I'm just going to scout around. No, Before I was going to check those caster's bodies. See what they have on them. with him. Oh, okay. So, okay, let's start right now. Back in the room before we left or anything, you guys can search the room and the bodies. Now, we kind of jumped the gun. You guys haven't even looked at what's in the room. Remember the casket and stuff. Oh, no, yeah. I mean, I was going to bar the door and then look around. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So before... <sighs> okay, I jumped the gun. You guys search the room first. The bodies yeah. and the casket. Uh, let me have a quick look. Several of the short humanoids are clustered around an open chest in the center of the stark room. And this this room was not important originally, but now it is after the catastrophe. And they were apparently examining the context when you guys came in there. When they see you, the lid is slammed shut and an order is shouted and they ready themselves to attack. Mm -hmm. So you have you see this casket with the lid shut. And the warriors do have if somebody was searching them. There's a total of, uh, they have platinum. A lot of these guys have platinum, which is worth like 10 gold pieces. Um, there's like 22 platinum pieces together. Okay. Gold, you see yeah. that one of the, one hey, of the hey, students hey, had a wicked hey, hey, Darren, little short sword, like Darrow style. Hey, Darren, fat, can, I pause, can I pause button for a second? Is anyone keeping track of all of this? Uh, I'm somebody track of the well, I'm just asking because at the end of this, we're going to need to total it for experience. Yeah. I'm keeping track of equipment. I mean, somebody if, write down. If, the, the yeah, if line. nobody else will, I'll put it in a notepad for, uh, for now, and we'll figure it out later. The so first, no, uh, I get, actually gave these guys names. Do you guys see the names? Yeah, you yeah. Um, Twenty-two platinum piece. Uh, what else was it, Aaron? Sorry, I was trying to make sure. Okay, student Arakram and student. Where's the other guy? I gave him names. He anyway, died. these two students. Guy, yeah, he's dead. He, he's dead, Dave. Um. So we got a, a long sword, an actual really nice one that appears to be non-corrosive and light and possibly magic that one of the students had. Plus his okay. shield caught your eye. Now any mages can make intelligence checks right now because these are okay. common items. And I will make one out of the other. Check. Yeah, so yeah, sure. Sprite and, and, and uh, the, uh, Tyrell can make them. Well, well that's a... That's a two under 17, so I so, know. So, sword yeah, plus one, a long sword plus one, magical, okay. and of kind of this dwarven Darrow make. It has that sort of look. Very simple and stark lines and effective. Yet, it's a Darrow sword. It's a, but right. it's effective and magical. Right. Plus one. A shield? I got a two on that. That's a plus one shield. Plus uh, one shield. With, it's, it's a buckler. With a spike on it, so it's got a it's a plus one. Uh, it can be if you get proficient. So if you go up in levels to get another proficiency, you could skill yourself with that buckler or, and use it as an offensive weapon. Or you get a free or attack. Or like Tyrath can just take it right now and give himself a zero armor glass. It's one attack. Yeah, but it's only a buckler. It's tiny. It looks ridiculous on you. It's like the size of a freaking plate. But... And it only affects against one attack. Yeah, but right now, <laughs> Tyreth has, like, a, a, he may be behind, the, he's actually behind the power curve on this party. If you want it, you can have it. Yeah, I'm going yeah, yeah, yeah. to hold, could, oh, I'm and, still gonna hold on to my long shot. Don't get me wrong. But somebody oh. small, we want to train with that weapon, because it can be a dual weapon. Like that oh, no, spike. I mean, later down the, down the line, I'm uh, happy to give it to them, you know. Actually, I don't see any use for shields. there's a potion. That you, you a potion. don't know what it is. Can I make another check? Uh, you can at disadvantage. There were two short swords as well, right there. Uh, Dara, Dara, two. Here. Yeah. two and a one. It's I got a two and a one. Nice. It's a potion of, and you can actually the gnome, your sprite. You can, you can, you can actually read a bit this language. It's it's a gnome. It's deep gnome. It's deep gnome. Yeah. Well, they spoke mm. under common, but I could be wrong. <laughs> yeah, but you got the gist of it, no. and it's a shrink thing. It's something about shrinking this potion. Mm. 
Potion of diminution. Diminution, okay. All right. uh, it's a transparent green salty liquid. And there's two you know doses. This? I don't need it. I'm already small enough as it is. <laughs> in a, yeah. in a, it's in a wineskin hanging from his belt. It's it's green and salty, and I'm just God. My mind is in the gutter tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and you all want this? I'm small enough as it is. I don't need to be any smaller. Uh, the walls are the room are plain and rough hewn. It was once held dozens of slaves <laughs> before the catastrophe, and there are fifty rings fixed to the walls through which the slave chains were fixed. Um, the Darrow students had taken over the room somewhere to study something away from the noise of the digging. So, no books? None yet. The chest is right. of heavy iron construction. And Let's check out the chest. It's not <laughs> locked. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use the uh, point of my sword to lift the lid because you never know what these things will have on them. I'm not about to take yeah. my bare hands. Oh, yeah, could always be a mimic. I have a three foot sword. I'm not about to <laughs> play. I'm not about to get close enough to let a poison needle trap or something kill me or mimic. Well, yeah, that too. One mm -hmm. of my party members in uh, curse of straw got his arm stuck in the mimic door. A mimic. Okay. Never mind. It was hilarious. Now, actually who's examining the chest. The lock. Uh, I'm not, I'm Where's not the opening it first. I'm Where's opening it. Open? Somebody else can look inside. You can <laughs> open it. I'll look inside. That works for me. <laughs> okay. Roll the percentage die. Which one of us? Yeah, whoever's uh, whoever's or, fiddling or, with it. Unless you're a thief and have like open locks. Oh, no, no. I'm fiddling with it, but I'm also doing it with my sword. So, uh, 49. That's under 50. Okay, it yes. uh, it clicks locked. Click, click. You locked. actually, you're not sure if you locked it. Uh, Let's get this thing open. See, hang on, let me see what my open locks is. Um, uh, that would be a bend bar. Or would that be a bend bars work for that? Can't remember how that works in first edition. No, you have to be a thief. I thought you could strong arm things still. Oh, yeah. You can bash it open if you want. Okay, so I'm just what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use brute strength, pick the damn thing up and try okay. to roll it against the wall. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Roll your, uh, yeah, Ben Bars. Ben Bars. That's a D6, right? In this edition? Yeah. Yeah. So I got three ups on that. And of course, I roll a five. So. Okay. Bang. Hits the wall. Clonk. Hits the floor. <laughs> rolls. And doesn't open or anything. So I'm going to let out. I'm going to let out a string of orcish curses while my sprite goes. <laughs> it's like, holy. I'm going to try and open it. Hey, since Somos is still there, he'll walk in and bash it open with his maul. <laughs> or you could do that. I or don't destroy the stuff inside lock. of it. But <laughs> I certainly have nothing in there to break. Hey, Jeff, <laughs> make a uh, intelligence check at disadvantage. Okay. Give me a second here. It was oh. iron chest. <laughs> I had to get up and move around for a second. My back was killing me. <laughs> it's so Tyrell's like, oh, groin pains. 12-year-old elf is like. <laughs> yeah, I wish I was 12 years old, but this is, you know, nearly 40-year-old guy with kyphosis and, and scoliosis and oh, damn. every way you can screw up a spine. Well, let's see if you can oh. fudge this roll. Uh, it's a disadvantage. Two rolls. Take the least yeah, favorable. I was just out of my chair. I had to get back to the laptop. <laughs> Eleven, Eleven six. six. Both are pass because my intelligence is seventeen. So you're dumb intelligent. It's not fair. <laughs> my wisdom is seventeen too. So I'm not just oh, intelligent. Yeah, higher wisdom than me. I'm clear it. I have a wisdom I, of eighteen. Okay, you see, uh, there's, you sense there's magic on the chest. Hole, it's it's enchanted. Does anyone have knock? I do not. No. I don't think you can get access to. It. I think it's third level spell. Damn, you guys don't have a thief, and then that's when your brother comes in, Tyra Tureth. And he's kind of holding this girl. And they come in. 
and she's conscious and she's looking at all you guys and she's bruised her one eye is bruised swollen shut her one arm is in a sling and she's walking with help tyrath and says ah looks like you guys need a little help perhaps ah. we could use it yeah is that right look at you all you guys kicking this chest around <laughs> Uh, she gets it's an she's, iron she's in pain, but she reaches around and and she was she's been slave here for a while though. But she looks at the chest and hmm, and off that roll for her actually. Not gonna just give her the benefit of the doubt. Uh, I need actually look up player's handbook here. That was the wrong die roll. Ignore that. Need to look up some thief abilities quickly. And you guys can react at this point. You see him come in, this young elf teenager she. with she, but it's his brother, Tereth. This is going to get confusing fast. I know, that name's too close. I know, I'm like, uh-oh. Tereth. Tereth and Tereth. You know what, Tereth <laughs> was here first. He demands that he be called something else. I'm going to call yeah. him, I'm going to call him pointy ear smashy man. Make it easier. When you hear smashing that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. Pick, uh, open locks. Find, remove trap. Okay. Ooh, it's, well. All right, well. Oh, God, one E's harsh. Damn. 50%. Here we go. There we go. It works. She she finds a mechanism in the lock immediately and gives you guys a smirk with her big swollen eyes shut. And she could perhaps be a pretty girl in, in better circumstances, but whatever. Winks with her good eye, flips the lid open, and stands up and kind of shoulders a little ways away. Mm. And you're all like, hmm. all right. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, it's quite an elaborate little mechanism it had on here, but anyway. Mm -hmm. It contains a small sphere, a metallic object. That's, it's uh, laid reverently in a rich red cloak. The shooting star is roughly uh, spherical, about the size of a small grapefruit. It weighs about 10 pounds, you'd estimate, the gnome and the dwarf. Mm -hmm. It is glass-like but opaque, black with a burnt appearance. So you can mm -hmm. see it's special, and it's incredibly, you can tell right now, it's an incredibly mm -hmm. powerful and precious thing. It appears to be glass-like, though, like a perfect round chunk of glass that's kind of grayish and little hairline cracks and stuff. And it's okay. everybody looks at it for a second, of course, who sees it. And it's like, ooh. That's it? That's it. All right. <laughs> it seems to be of no value to you guys, perhaps as a nice showpiece. It's nice. I mean, look, it's pretty. Can always check it out, see if there's anything special about it. It, it, it is the shooting star these guys excavated from the crater. Hmm. I think wrap it up real carefully. Stuff it one of her bags. I was going to say, in the red cloak. You know, what oh, we yeah. you know what we desperately need in this party? We desperately need a handy haversack. A handy haversack? The bag haversack. of holding. So, so it's like we, we, you found it. It's obviously it. All right. The slave girl is resting, slumped against the wall, just watching you guys warily, yet still with a smirk on her face. Probably eyeing some of us up and down. Oh, yeah. She doesn't know what to make, but she's alive. You can tell. She's prob She's the only slave you found in here that's, that seems to be sane, quote-unquote. You're not quite sure yet. 
I think Sprite sort of utters, any of y'all want to carry this? I got it. Anyone more careful carry it? I... At, which, at which point Tyrath puts his hands out. <laughs> mm. This thing looks very fragile, I'm just saying. He almost said he would carry it. Hey, you ask, and two people have offered. You can't be all picky now. Hey, yeah. there are the meat shields. Uh, they can carry yeah. stuff. Sorry it's a longsword plus one. Darrow make. Yeah, Effective. You can see, it's a knight. It's magical. He's basically uh, like, who wants these? I mean, if nobody else wants the longsword plus one, I'll take it, even though I'm never going to be in melee if I can avoid it. I've got two plus one. I've got two plus one. I, would, I almost would take it, but I actually think that I'm better off keeping my uh, Bastard Sword, because my Bastard Sword does more damage, even with the All first right. one. But you might want to keep it for those creatures that can only be hit by plus one. Yeah. I have a plus one bow. Uh, oh, yeah, that's true. All right, who wants the plus one buckler? I'm not using it. I'm using it. All right, you can take it. Yeah, I've got a dagger. plus one silver dagger. I'm going to switch that out one from so the first. Now, the everyone, first. if you have a, a shield or a special effect for armor class, you have to have two armor classes shown. I forgot to include yeah, that. So you, you have your armor class with or without your shield or with or without your close, cloak of displacement. Or... There you go. Mm -hmm. My token is now fixed. Zero one. one. All right, we have three daggers, one that is silver and plus one, one that's decorated and one that's normal. Oh, so a plus one hook shard. You do find a one tattered book. Let's check that book out. Checking the book out. Yeah. All right. It is. Awesome. Now I'm going to let you guys roll fifty fifty. Whether it's an illusionist or magic user spell book. Ooh, is it? Because one of these was magic user, one was a illusionist. Fight, fight, you want fight, to roll fifty fifty. And that's the only one they could salvage. So I'll roll it. Hold on. Okay, uh, if, it's, if it's under 50, it's illusionist. Okay. It's magic user. All right, you can have it. I got the I got the ring of spell storing anyway. Yeah. And this spell book, the remains had, just jot this down, Jeff. All right. Three first level spells that are left. The rest are ruined. The book is mm -hmm. kind of rubbed out uh oh nice roll four second level spells and oh another nice roll two third level spells this thing has a lot of spells in it for being mostly ruined and a f and a fourth level spell you have seen it before they burnt it <laughs> yeah about half of it was wrecked but that was like whoa. That's a, that was probably the good half. And it was the uh, the one that was... Oh, wow. Just to let you know, one of these guys was about to cast an anti-magic spell. Oh, God, no. Ew. After you, after you, if you would have charmed you, Sprite. That's the one I killed? Yeah. If you would have charmed you, you would have been defending him. I am glad I rolled high. Yeah. And okay, then so... he... Anyway... I'm guessing and the other one was more. created that huge effect where he was going to get large and he acted. He actually would attacked as a friggin' hill giant at that point. I'm guessing that we'll figure out what spells those are later. Yeah, we'll roll. Yeah. All right. Now, anything else we can do in this room? Let me have a quick look. You guys search around. You could tell it was slave quarters. Until this catastrophe, <laughs> then they took it over as their headquarters now for their the survivors. There was a cloak in there as well. You said a red cloak. No, that's what the the fallen star is wrapped in. Uh, we'll keep that wrapped in that cloak then. Right. I, I already have it written now. Um, right. Okay, you guys did the abandoned digging where you found the elder, and you found those uh, boots of elven kind, that. weren't exactly elven kind like. <laughs> They were drow, weren't they? Those got burned. Yeah, you burned those boots of elven kind that gave you athlete's foot. Mm -hmm. no, I, said, I had to slip a tongue there. Severe. You hear that? 
Dude, where is tonight going? Holy crap, it's almost already uh, 2300. Uh, sorry, yeah, I, I just looked I've at my clock a, and I was like, wait. I've got about 15 minutes before I've got to go. Oh. Uh, you got to you gotta be uh, at an appointment at the butt crack of dawn tomorrow? Uh, yeah, my nurse is coming by. <laughs> well, we're, we might play on a little bit. Okay. Yeah, okay I can go it. for I can go for about another hour and fifteen minutes max. So yeah, that's fine. That's so well, if we go for another hour, yeah, if we go for another hour fifteen, we get three hours. So give yeah. me a break. Yeah, I, sorry, Darren, I didn't even cut you off, buddy. No, no, okay. Um, so you guys are gonna do a rest. Let's. Yeah. And Merrick is like, he's doing okay. He's gonna drink uh, one of his healing potions. Uh. <laughs> So, as a heads up, Darren, uh, Tyrath is going to set the uh, watch order because he doesn't trust people. Mm -hmm. And when Tyrath speaks, people didn't listen. So, he's going to take first watch. He's going to have Salmos take the last watch. He'll be okay. two-hour watches. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to have Brother Merrick in the middle. Okay. So, Brother Merrick says that we'll be back in 15 minutes. Yep. We're going to just make sure everything's cool. Yep. And anyone going to go with Brother Merrick? Salmos, uh -huh. I'm good. I'll hold down the fort. I was going to charge that ring with a second level spell. If I can do that during I was going to go, but Ooh, you gave good. me a, a book to look at, so I'm not going to go. Okay, yeah. so Somos Brother Merrick, and he goes back into this room of death up here, Somos, and and he, he quickly looks around. He's like, shh, that door. He's pointing. Careful. <laughs> And he checks the bodies, making sure they're all dead. Uh, I can it's assure like, him they're dead. Well, it's, I need light. And you see all most of the torches and flames have, have died off and gone out at this point. So I'll he gets a... Them. Pardon? I will relight them. Okay, yeah. And you light up this place and it's this jarring zebra effect. And you go up to this door, and it's uh, on the picture. You can see it had this jarring kind of symbol on it that the eye just couldn't carry on. It was ugh, made you feel Ill, Ill at ease. And the door is not locked, but uh, Marix looks at you and he's, "Please listen, smell." And he gets close to the door. Listen, do you smell something? <laughs> Mm -hmm. And you're looking at him like, hmm. This door is very important at one point before the catastrophe, I should say, if you follow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it appears it was, yeah, something important behind it. Does it open in or out? Uh, out to you, and it's not locked. But he's no. like, are you sure? We, it could be trouble. Do you, oh, we have to make a... Okay, he rolled. Now, you make a, a wisdom roll at disadvantage. So you roll twice and take the, the less. I made both. You smell... Uh, death. You've smelt it before out here. There's been corpses and whatnot. But you d definitely smell there's there's death creeping underneath the door, like the smell of it carrying, which is very plausible. <laughs> this place is, was hit by a meteor. Mm. Uh, I will look at um, Merrick and count down one. And I'll slowly open the door and peek in. Go take it out. There's a 20 foot hallway that is uh, there's motifs on either wall of um, chaotic scenes of, of humans being tortured and killed and whatnot. And it's quite well done, but creepy. There's another door about 20 feet away and you can see there's a smell of death trapped in this hallway here. And it's yeah, I'm not going into that hallway. Yeah, and I'm not Brother stupid. Merrick's, yeah. There's he's like, no reason there should be a door 20 feet later, another door with nothing else there. Oh, That makes no sense. Brother Merrick is looking at you like going, 
there's uh, oh, it smells. It's terrible. But it looks like there's perhaps another part of the temple, priest quarters or something. Or it's hard to say. I'm not going in there without my friends. Okay. Is... Let's follow me. Let's check this out a little more. And he goes up here into this I've hallway. I've been through them. Yeah, but he's being careful. He's looking. Don't go in there. Okay. And the place does have trickle of dirt come down from the ceiling here and there. It's the whole place is you question the stability. Well, no, I mean this entire area was collapsed. Yeah, that's where they were digging. Yeah, and that's where we went in, and then when we came out, it was just in time for it to collapse. Okay. So your call now. He says let's let's go back. There's you could he says we could go check out the other hallway to the north. Or we could go back and rest. I am tired. He's bruised up and cut. Well, let's get in there and rest because um you know, up there is nothing but um Okay, you come back into the room and they've pushed the corpses to the side. <laughs> you guys have gotten used to this where you just all right, everyone <laughs> do their best and <laughs> use a corpse as a pillow, uh a bunch of dead darrow here and here and there. Yeah, we were using them to bar the door. Oh okay, right. We're stuck uh, on the door. Nice. Well, if, if they may still get through the door, but it's gonna be a really gross way to get through the door. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that good enough? That looks wonderful. <laughs> Big pile of dead, dead stuff. Hey, there's there's an extra Darrow up here that didn't get X'd out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, so you guys are in this former slave quarters, and it's like, ooh, it's not a pleasant place, but anyone want to exchange some thoughts or pleasantries? Before we get a rest and go on shift? Uh, no, one of the things Tyrath's going to do since he's taking a uh, last shift, when he does come up for shift, he's going to take his whetstone out and he's going to make sure his sword is sharp. Because mm. two hours of sharpening a sword with the whetstone should do it. Yeah. Nice. Sprite's going to... Now, you guys didn't close that door that you opened, right? Uh, that's we, no, we would have. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> now that he's saying that. <laughs> Smart ass. We can easily go back before the bar. No, 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 no. I said too much. You guys are resting now. Unfortunately, we're all resting. I don't care. If we get attacked, that's just more experience. Why doesn't kill me gives me experience? Yeah. It's stronger. <laughs> Um, so, Edek, you got to go soon, you said? Yeah, I didn't realize it was getting this late, man. There's nothing I can do about it. Okay, we might play for a little bit longer. Won't do anything hardcore. You should wipe through it. What's your armor class? <laughs> My yeah. armor class is two. Yeah, yeah he's going to say armor class me. Because you guys can play for a bit longer, right? Yeah. We yeah. Should about another hour. Cool. I can go as long as you guys can. So we can do this rest. Uh, you guys can cycle through your watches in this bloody barrier against the door. Nestor, would you want to... Um, I can't believe I'm saying this, but would you want to run my character? If, I, if need be, I can if you want. Um, or if you want him to just sit back. Well, I mean, that's the other option is to sit back and watch the the thief girl, make sure she's okay. Could yeah, you can go default defensive mode. You still might be attacked or something, but you definitely won't be in the front line. Mm -hmm. But you have to be there. I mean, if we have a character wipe, or I mean, a party wipe. We got a party wipe. I'm just crying inside. That's bottom line. Mm -hmm. Um. I've worked so, far too long to build this character for him to die. 
Yeah, you actually played that character a long time. Uh, um, we're going on about four months now, so. Yeah, in about 12 sessions, 15 altogether at least. Like uh, anyway, let's move on. So you guys settle down. Um, the girl's doing really a lot better. Her eye is still swollen shut. That's that. Her arm is still broken, by the way. And somebody could try to do something about that. I will. And she says her name is Kapuna. Okay. Kapuna. And I'll spell it. No, I got it. With a K. Kapuna. She Batata? goes. You see, there's something about her. She's not. She looked human at first, but there's something. There's a twist. Let's see what we can do about that arm, Lassie. She's got elf in her. You think? Half elf, maybe. Yeah. Now you see your eyes so swollen shut. The other one, though, you can see now it has elven colors, and there's just a certain look to her pallor and it was she was so scruffed up with dirt and stuff before and yeah she's a mess she's been oh here i don't know right oh wow i can use my create water spell to give her some uh, the ability to uh, wash off well she would be she's she's so grateful and she she strips down uh doesn't seem to mind or whatnot and and just washes and well it's interesting everybody's has their own thoughts about that yeah but it's over pretty quick and she her clothes are still gritty and grimy and she's still her arm's still broken i'm gonna set the arm or do my best to do you have any a heal spell um i will after we rest yeah um i think Tyrath doesn't have a ty Tyrath Tyrath doesn't have a heal spell. You oh, yeah. have spells. Yeah, I've got heal spells. I've still got two of them. Why? Who needs it? <laughs> the girl. Yeah, I'll hit her. No, I mean she's actually uh, since I hate slavery in all of its forms, I'm going to do everything I can to help her get out of here. Yeah. Okay, so you guys eat a dinner and and rest, and you all lean back and do your stuff and study spells and. Uh, Tyrell, that you grab that book and you realize that oh, like the back third of it is intact. It has all these spells in it. Um, it yeah. Aaron? Yes, sir. I'm sorry to interrupt, but isn't the girl's name Lucilla? I had that earlier. Yeah. That's what I have written down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I just wanted to make sure I'm remembering the right thing. Yeah, no, 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 you're right. I did have that written down, but I was going to change your name to Kapuna. It was because uh, I incorporated a thief character for another thing whose name was Kapuna. So which do you want us to use? Um, what do you guys prefer? I like Kapuna better. It's more noticeable. Yeah. Okay, Kapuna. I am. My name is Kapuna. The half elf, a mysterious background, was a slave of the Darrow. Um, I think during a rest, Sprite's trying to charge that ring of like at least a second level spell. Now I'll allow you to do that, but then you would have to forfeit any spell you charged it with. Is a spell slot you can't charge for the next day. Follow? Yep. yep. I'm going to do a blur, a second level blur. Yep. That way I at least have that. And you have it either way, but if you don't use it, then you have it the next day as a, it's in the... Yeah, that's... Ring. I'm basically just like... Okay, now you, you guys are doing your thing. You're rotating, and anyone want to do anything, interact? Um, the girl's exhausted. 
she immediately falls into she falls asleep like she's well, well, I stand by my say on anything I could do, which means before she falls asleep, if she's hungry, I'll pull out some of that fish that I'm still carrying around. Um, and her arm was mended by you. You cast a heel spell on her arm. Yeah, between the two of us, she's going to be fine. Yeah. So you're going to charge her up. And what I'll do is next day she'll start with like uh, hit points equivalent to a heel spell. Mm -hmm. We'll see how much I can give her back. Yeah. And you can cast okay. more the next day to heal yeah. more hit points if you okay, want. Well, she gets two, and then I'll wake when we wake up first thing in the morning, I'll give her a second one for another eight, so she'll have ten. Right. I'm busy looking at the book. And you figuring it out, yeah. It, now, you can now, Jeff, memorize spells from that book. Do you want to do a quick roll right now? Yeah, let's get that out of the way, because I need some more useful spells than what I've got. Gotcha. Anyone that can assist with that for him? I uh, need Unearthed yeah. Arcana. If you want, you can look up the Unearthed Arcana, and then you have to find an equal. Actually, I can do that pretty fast right now. Well, I already have my Unearthed Arcana up, but. Yeah, so figure out, like, I think uh, first level mage has like 32 spells. Yeah, he's got a shit ton of spells. All right. So, unless the first spell really makes a difference to you. You have to roll two die twenty or something, right? Yeah. The first spell is is uh, chill or chill. So I'm not oh, terribly offended. Oh no, it's kind of trip. Affect normal fires. Okay, don't worry about it. So, but you realize your odds narrow to the middle numbers once you have more than one die. Yep. So you have to roll a forty sided die. I don't know how you can do that. Uh, no. All right, Nestor, uh, you've got my character sheet. You've got my prep spells. Uh, don't let me die. <laughs> three okay, Jeff, you nice. know, the top ends. It doesn't matter. It's pretty random. Just roll two die 20. Hold and, on. Yeah, and Eric, er, Eric, thanks for playing, buddy. Dude, mm -hmm. I wish I could keep going. But I know, I, I know. I've got to get We've got to play a bit longer, though. I, I want to push this a bit. Mm -hmm. I, I can okay. actually... And you'll Nestor, roll a d40. Nestor, yeah. ha Nestor has my character sheet. He has my spells that are prepped. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I'm sure he's been playing long enough with the, with us to know how Somos is played. Um, right on. Charge and hit. And occasionally cast something. Okay, thanks, uh, thanks, Eric, for no, playing. Thank again. you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, next time, hopefully, I'll be able to play for the entire length. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And who right, knows how long we'll go tonight. I'm going to push it. Yeah. Well, everybody okay. take care. Everybody yeah. have fun. And I will see you. I'll see some of you on Friday for Shadium. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll be there. And if not, then I'll see you on Sunday for Ian's game. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, and then All right. I, take care, everybody. I, I yeah. got I to gotta play with these fools again, at least one of these fools on Saturday. <laughs> yep, you do. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Jeff, you roll. Uh, I rolled the 16, which is hold portal. Ooh, hold that's, okay. actually, that's actually a stupidly good spell. It is. Um, you know come through door, because I say no. Um, all right, so next roll. But I have to type this out, so I should probably copy and paste that. There we go. So... 26, 26, which is precipitation. Mm. Like a lot of moisture. Yeah. <laughs> it it, it rains. Some rain. That's an odd one. Guess we'll see when he uses it. I'm sure it's got some use. We'll figure some out for it. 35. We definitely figured out he's doing very well. Now, if you wanted to, oh. you could sp spend this rest copying these spells into your spell book. Yeah, that's, that's what I'll do because I don't need do anything else. That would. Yeah, I don't. I don't need as much rest as everybody else anyway. You only need four hours, don't you? Yeah, and I can avoid that if I want to burn PSPs. Yep. Well, uh, I forget how long does it take for illusionist? For what? full rest. Yeah, to get uh, all the like spells. Six hours minimal, kind of. Uh, six hours minimal. 
Yeah, it's pushing oh. it. Well, nothing 40. more offensive, but I've got some more utilitarian spells. What'd you get? Uh, I've got uh, Hold, Portal, Precipitation, Taunt, and Right. Right? Right. Okay, well, you got more levels, though. Oh, you, you yeah. got a whole lot more levels. Yeah, I know. I've got second to do. And I realize you guys are going to be looking for spell bucks. I, I know. That's why. Mm -hmm. But these guys, their homeland was destroyed. They salvaged like half of one of theirs, their major ones. Mm -hmm. All right. kinda... so, how many second level spells have got? 36. Okay. See, see, uh, Jeff, this is exactly when you start demanding the spell book of Fist and Elias. <laughs> This is when I want to demand that spell book, and I forget which game it's from, but where every page is a different spell, and it doesn't go away until you go through all of it, because it's every spell in existence. Yeah. But yeah. every time you look at it, it's not the same spell. Yeah. Right. What's up? Uh, you, know, you know what you really need is you need the spell book from the only dude to go through the entire Dragon King uh, transformation. Oh, uh, Boris. Yeah, boy, he's yeah. I can I can never remember his name, but he's a ridiculous. So second level, what'd you I roll? actually I actually don't have right because I I rolled Jeff. four and I had three. So hold on, I'm rolling. Uh, I'm correcting myself. I got a little overzealous with my fourth level, my first level spells. Mm -hmm. uh, so nine flaming is sphere. flaming sphere. Yay, offensive spell. <laughs> uh, Interesting. I don't I don't know what that is. Uh, like it's, a, major, it's like a it's like a, a different take on like the firebolt and all that other stuff. You can, yeah, you can move it around once you cast it. It's it was flaming ball of fire. So yeah. it's like a miniature yeah. sun you can move around the battlefield. It's awesome. It's spongy. You can pull it in, push it into people, and they catch on fire. Yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, I think it's like one round per level. Hmm. I'm like that. So a tell a tell. Well, no, a tell size means they're just new new to that book. But my second one was. Preserve. <laughs> hey, hey, if we die. <laughs> we know how to oh, use that's that. true. You can preserve a body. Because you, 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 you normally get you normally get what you have to resurrect them within what seven days or something like that. Normally. I mean, that's true. A raised dead spell only works. Unless you're gonna do a true resurrection, which I think can affect them no matter what. Oh, that's a good spell too. Bind is my Bind. third. Second level spell. Mm. You go nowhere. You stay there. Yeah. I say three. And then you got a third level too. Third level. I got one more uh, second level to roll. I yeah, had four the, second levels. The fun thing is, is bind is better than and then hold person because bind is not uh, oh. confined by what uh, subtype they are. Yep. And That's this one makes me happy because it's useful for me because. Mm -hmm. Nice. Darkness, fifteen foot radius. Ooh, oh, dead you know. Now everyone else can be doing stuff while you're resting, but I'm gonna tell you right now, there's a thump on the door. Oh boy. And, oh boy. and I'm gonna roll to see who's on watch when this happens. So that's a one in three. What do I want? I should take like five because American. Well, we're only doing three watches, though. We're going to do yeah. two-hour watches. Yeah. <clears throat> There's a scratching and thumping on the door, you hear. As long as it's not a Zorn, I'm okay. And it's like <laughs> pushing and thumping against the bodies, <clears throat> the mound. <laughs> and it happens about three or four hours into the night. And you so guys are all like, be... all saying, <gasps> And the girl stirs, and she kind of gets up on her, on her knee, and she's looking alarmed at you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, that didn't work for you. Oh, yeah, because I, I need a slash. But That's anyway, fine. we'll finish yeah. Jeff, <laughs> just to set you guys up. Well, Jeff is finishing up there, and I'm going to go run and hit the head real quick. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, anyone else do anything? You were all resting and recharging, right? Uh, uh, who's on watch? Charge. Character one. That would have been. Um, it's, uh, someone says first watch. Tyrus. Tyrus is last, and Brother yep. Merrick is second. I think that's yeah. what I said. Tyrell was awake because he was working with the spells, studying yeah. his spell book. 
Uh, I charged my ring. And then Sprite, the you were awake, charging ring, and then went to sleep. Yeah, to get my yeah my first levels back. You're woken up with a suddenly like it's oh shit, something's up. All right, but I do have my first levels back, right? Yeah, that's it. It this interrupted your rest. You can only get re- restore any first level spells. So I didn't get my first levels back. Yeah. But I do have that second stored. That you did charge, yeah. I'm saving that, so I'm just going to be stepping as much as I can. And All right, so... <laughs> I wound up, Darren, with... Uh, for the first level spells, I wound up with... Uh, hold, hold Portal, uh, Precipitation, Taunt, Second Level Flaming Sphere, uh, Preserve, nice. Bind, and Darkness 15-foot Radius. Nice. And for third level, I got Dispel Magic and Claire Audience. Dispel, dispel magic? magic? Yes. Yes. That's actually... And, and uh, for fourth level, I got Enchanted Weapon. Enchanted Weapon? Yes. You can enchant somebody's sword or something. Yep, pretty much. How long does that last? I'd have Quite to a long a time. Word. And it makes it a magical... like it's, It depends on his level and stuff. It's pretty, pretty awesome, actually. Mm-hmm. It's a buff spell. All right. Is that your fourth level spell? That's the fourth level, so I've got a long time before I can cast it. Yeah, but. exactly. But, um, yeah. Oh, XP. So I gave you guys each, what, what was it, 1,233 or each? 1,253, that's yeah. what I have right now. Okay, so now you get some more XP a minute, just so you know. You get... Uh, uh, I did. I already did the math for my natural twenties. Now for the plus one longsword. Now I have to add this up real quick. A minute, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh yeah, I got plus one, one buckler, one right? Nope. Uh, the two students who are uh, you guys snipped out in the bud. Like I was, I was impressed with Sprite there. Mm-hmm. I thought, oh, he's in shit, but he went yeah. in there. And... He's good of a fighter as he get, as he is a mage. He is. Yeah, <laughs> he's got good AC too, eh? And yeah. those two attacks add up. He could do like 12 points damage in a round. Depends on how well he rolls. Yeah, that too. And then now for getting the star, I'm going to give you guys uh, 1,200 XP. 1,200? 1,200, but this way I'm, I'm tallying everything. You guys actually get a bit of a boost here. Uh, 24, 28. Uh... I hate it when they do that shit. Mm. This spell is this spell is the uh, the same as a first level clerical spell of the same name, except for the holy symbol is not a part of the material components. So then, to find out the effects of that spell, I have to roll back. I'm like, yeah, you, have you to go all the way to clerical. You no bastards! Way. Now you guys each get uh, 1,342 XP each. 1,342. Yeah. All right. And then I'm gonna have my hundred for the natural twenties. Multi-class characters, you have to split that, of course, for each right. class. 14, 142 plus 50 plus 15, five, five, three, eight. Uh, So Sprite, he's multi-class. Yeah. So you got to make sure... And I gave you XP before. I don't know if you added that. I just what? total up my XP and then divide by two because I'm just going to put it evenly in levels because yeah. reasons. So 1442 <laughs> on top of what from last session, which was what? 1253? Oh, Son of a bitch. Oh, but Am I right? 1253 from last session? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. 415 away from fourth level psionicist. Sad About day. Not quite, not quite. One, one's going to get an extra point, but currently I'm. 1347 on each. 48 to one other. One's going to get 48, one's going to get 47. Well, you know you're playing a magic user when you don't even look to see if you're close to level 4 for the magic user yet. Let's see. (laughs) 
Nice. So it's, Kyle should be back soon. Hold on. Um, just looking up a – getting the stats for this creature. So, yeah, now instead of having web memorized, I'm going to have flaming spear memorized because that is better. <laughs> One second, I gotta look up what level illusionist and fighter go up with. Illusionist correctly. Okay, all the other first level spells I got are not in. Wait, no, taunt is in this book. Okay. Position of illusionist spells. Do not need to spell the spell read magic or anything in particular. Effect. Written in a secret tongue. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh. You left yeah. the door open. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I don't know that I'll be casting taunt very often, but uh, I forget what page is the advancement for Ex experience, right? Yeah. All right, thanks. You want for your illusionist or for fighter? Illusionist, both, preferably. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for that right now. Your illusionist table is on page twenty-seven. Uh, 26. Page 26. Yeah. And the fighter will be considerably further up than that. Alright. 8, 9, 10. Now that I think about it, I should have gone fighter, psionicist, because. But I'm okay with mage, oh psionicist. My God. Fighter, psionicist would have been ridiculous. I know, especially considering I'm doing psychometabolism. I'd been like, and graft weapon, and. <laughs> Bad things will now happen to my opponents, and I will laugh maniacally as I bathe in their blood. <laughs> nice. Okay, uh, gentlemen. 26. That was 26? Yeah, 26 is for your illusionist. God damn it. All right, I'm seeing gemstones and jewelry. Are you in the player's handbook? Oh, I'm in the DMG. That's why. Fuck. Wrong book. <laughs> Wrong book. Right page. Yeah, that, that has happened more often than I'd like to admit. Okay, I was talking to, you know, a young kid that's getting into the tabletop. Okay, I'm going to him. I'm gonna start pretty quick here. Okay. Right. Um, the door is being rattled and shaken. Um, and you guys have it, about four or five hours into the night, you guys have been taking your time and just relaxing and healing and eating and trying your best, but suddenly it's interrupted. The girl looks up quickly and she looks terrified. They're here. She mutters, they're here. All right, my XP's already been split, right? My previous XP? Uh, I, I don't know. Currently, it says I have 4,540 E slash 5. And then the. 4, 5, 40. Um, suddenly, it goes quiet. And goes quiet. Hmm. Oh. Preserve doesn't protect the dead for resurrection. Doesn't protect the dead? No. Damn. Okay, so it goes quiet. The door is quiet, and you guys can do what you want right now. You're all, for a second, you're just like, oh, you hear that? The door is like, thump, 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 against the bodies. And you guys piled up, the, you guys said you piled up the bodies, right? Oh, yeah. And, yeah, against the door, so there's literally oh, a pile of corpses against the door. I am nowhere near fourth level for illusionist yet. Uh, anyone want to do anything? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna hang tight. Yeah. <laughs> I 
it was getting okay. So you can try rest again. You have to start over. You could rest for another four hours. You want to try that again, Tyrath? The four hour rest. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Definitely gonna try that again. I want to get those first levels back. I want to make sure that everyone gets a chance to actually be functional by the time we're done. Okay, bind is a rope trick spell, so that's not terrible. Oops, that's the wrong one. Okay, um, the girl actually can stand up. Mm -hmm. She gets up. She's looking at you guys. Uh, you think we can get out of here? I think we can. Uh, there's, you know what those are? Uh, I'm assuming they're not Darrow because they gave up too easy. No, oh, there's been a lot of bodies around, walking around. If you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Oh, zombies are undead. Uh, yeah, they've been picking us off, killing us. We've been trying to dig our way out. The Darrow drove us. They were driving us mad, killing us, eating us. I played dumb and waited for my time. I saw you guys come in here, and here we are. But those things, ah, watch them. And she sits back down. Do you guys have some food? I'm starving. I'll give her some food. Do you guys have some tobacco? Uh, I don't smoke. I don't think I'm old enough to smoke. Sprite is like, despite my age, I do not smoke. <sighs> Ironically enough, the orc doesn't smoke either. Mostly because yeah. of all the things he'll do. He'll drink human, humanoid blood. He'll <laughs> do what all kinds of What are your names? He'll smoke. She says, and you get injuries yourselves quickly. Kapuna. Yeah. yeah. Sprite. Thanks, you guys. Well, I'm, uh, I trust we're going to get out of here, right? She looks at you kind of hopefully with her one eye or other eye still, still swollen shut despite the healing and stuff. That's our idea is to yeah. get out of here. Although Sprite's, we may explore a bit more. It's right. like, as long as I'm still breathing, I know I'm going to make it out alive. They were making us dig. They were trying to get back to the... I cut, picked up a few pieces of their language... They were talking about their, their home, get back. They were talk, kept saying about getting back, bringing, and talking about bringing the, bringing the, they called it the special. They called it the, uh, the artifact, the thing. I think we have that now. Your eyes go a bit wide. Ah. They brought it out from the crater. Yeah, and she sums back. Thanks again, everybody. Thanks. Do you have any weapons? Uh, we have several spare daggers, don't we? We've got the short swords we just picked up. Yeah, I've got something I, have, I could have. Any armor? Any? I have, I have three extra daggers. Ah, I have three extra daggers. Please. Uh, I, not... I don't think we have spare sets of armor, though. Yeah, I think we'll armor was, unfortunately. She takes a dagger and kind of twirls it in her hand a bit awkwardly, but you can tell the skills yeah. there. She got a two deck, two regular daggers and a plus one dagger. Oh, she takes plus one dagger. Where'd you find this? I've, I'm several, I've, I literally had like two on me and then I gained like three more. Nice. She's like, thanks. She spins it in her palm. Psst. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Okay. Who wants this potion of diminution? I, I'm already small enough. Okay, that would explain why I couldn't find flaming sphere in the main book. It is not in there. No, it's uh, no, uh, no. okay. So you guys gonna do the full rest again? Try it uninterrupted. Mm -hmm. You're trying un try uninterrupted rest. All right. Then I, I will actually do my meditation this time. Uh, I want to get those first levels back. Okay. Um, 
you guys get your full rest. It's quiet. There's no more banging on the door. The <laughs> corpses slump and seep their blood into the floor. Mm -hmm. oh, that was poetic. It kind of is. And it smells in here. It's gross. But mm -hmm. you guys are warriors. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say and right the, the candles are getting low and the lanterns. The girl got another rest. She healed. She's going to get her hit point back and such. Mm -hmm. And I'll, she's supposed to be upright, but she's still sprawling. So uh, Kapuna is now, she's a actual fourth level thief. And okay. I'm back at full health because fighter illusionist. Yep. And she's a... Uh, yeah, she's a thief. Neutral good thief. He sensed mm -hmm. no evil. Well, actually, I misspoke. Perhaps he did. Who knows? He said neutral good. So you guys are rested up. And there's a pile of corpses that you have to pull down. Mm -hmm. And the door is silent. Everything's quite silent. Yes, it is. You have to go outside at some point, so I'm going to pull you guys out, and you pull down the pile of corpses. <laughs> Try not to make too much noise. Yeah. And get to the door and open it. And the hallway beyond, of course, is clear. Well, not of course, but it happens to be clear. Well, I was thinking of suspicion I'm about to get jumped. You have choice now of leaving the whole place. You do have the star. You could go left, and you haven't gone up north there. You just discovered that there was a lot of cave-ins and stuff. It was treacherous. Who knows what? And you have, and then there was the door you opened, didn't close. That led to some other area. All right. Well, which way do you want to go? We could leave all together. We have what we came for, technically speaking. Yes, we do. And your memories, as you remember, you got the memories of the monks. Mm -hmm. You remember, get the star. Bring the star back to the tower. Mm -hmm. So that was the plan. Do we yeah. want to explore more, or do we just want to go? Because exploring uh, okay. more could resist. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay with leaving, but... Yeah, I vote going because we don't know how many more mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. there are in here. Yeah, not to mention there was talk of undead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not afraid of undead. I mean, my god will protect me, but um, the rest of you on the other hand. We yeah. have two clerics, so or one cleric and a fighter. But So for now, you guys, the exit was where you came in, which would be to the right. And you'd mm -hmm. turn and go into the main temple area down here. And from there, you'd go through the newly dug tunnel into the natural caverns over here. So that's mm -hmm. what you're going to do? Then out, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm going to assume you go into the main temple area and you're all cautious and mode and stuff and looking. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's creepy. You're looking and there's something not right. Mm -hmm. And you look... As you get into the main temple area, move yourselves into that area, please. Okay. Uh, in the main temple area over here. Yeah, I'll ping it again. Over there. Over there. Okay. Okay. Unless you want to go the other way, but I'm assuming you're leaving, right? Yeah. Yeah. Leave. yeah. Come on. I've got to find my character. There I am. Yeah. Taking his good old time trying to move. There we go. Brother Merrick's with you. And you're sneaking in that room. QP's Don't with forget you. The, uh, the breathing slave who's, you know, on the ground. <laughs> Indeed. And she's now upright, but still hurting, not quite full. And you notice that room that with those squiggly weird designs on the eastern end of the temple is still open. And beyond it, there's a door that's open. That you guys didn't open before, remember? Mm -hmm. 
So way over there, you could you shine a light lantern, bullseye lantern on you're like, oh wait a minute, that door's open. <gasps> and you shine back and oh, whatever. I just leave. I got a bad feeling about that door. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that that room isn't big enough that I wouldn't notice that whether the light lantern was on it or not. <laughs> I'm not sure that I care enough at this point. Like, I, I'm like the rest of this party. I'm tired of being attacked and hurt by things. Can we just get out of here? Okay. We'll, come back with, we'll come back later with it, fire. It, lots and lots of it, fire. It's over there. Let's let's go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so move your characters. Okay, so which to the spill that. Tyrath spent Good. eight <laughs> rounds part willing. <laughs> and he rolled so bad. He rolled like four fail in a row. Awesome. That's amazing. He's not exactly Captain uh, awesome, so he, He's kind of a sm sm smashy. Um, I'm going to have now who's, who's in the rear? Well, I would be towards the rear, but I or actually I'd be in the middle, but I just moved myself all the way over there so that I don't have to find me again later. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to assume that you guys got to the spillway. Now, I'm going to tie Wrath is there, right? All right. Um, who's in front? That would be Somos up there. Yeah. Yeah. Somos would be up there. I'd be in the middle mm -hmm. ish somewhere. Yeah. Unfortunately, Ty Wrath is probably struggling to Brother get Brother Merrick's just person. getting in the tunnel. That's a narrow tunnel, so you have to be in. <laughs> Sprites there. Yeah, um, bad memories about that spillway. Who's, who's in the back? Who's in the rear when you guys are th going through the tunnel? Now, Ty Rath, you get to the spillway, and at this point, you have to go down where you stumbled 10 times, and you go down. But down is easier. <laughs> cavern, okay. Going down is much easier than going up because if he has to, he'd just tuck it And away. I'm moving your character for now, okay? Yeah. I apologize. No, you're good. I'm yeah, good. and I'm moving you to the, the there's a, a pool over here that you can walk through and get into another chamber where you can exit. So I'm going to move everyone along. Sprite, you're, you're moving along, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Brother Merrick jumps down easily. Who's next? Uh, I'll go next. I'm looking for your brother. Where the hell is he? He's back somewhere. Okay, Jeff. <laughs> still be in that room. Okay, <laughs> show up when he comes back. okay, so who's in the back? Who's in the caboose? Good question. Find the brother. Somebody that, that has the capability of handling rear guard. So I think if you want Sprite can be right back there. He's a gnome. He can easily okay. So you're past. still in the you're in the tunnel with uh, the girl, the thief. Right? Yeah. And you see and and suddenly she you feel her fingers digging into your fucking neck. The, the gnome that that's a very low reach. No, the half elf thief. Oh, the half elf. The yeah, thief. That, that, that's a low reach for her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's not grabbing your balls. <laughs> you can feel her nails and she can't speak. Her mouth is making motions and she's pointing. She sees something scary to her. And right now, hold on. I have to put you. You are here. Brother Merrick still hasn't jumped down. He's at the top. Ty Rath, you're at the bottom. Uh, Tanrell, you're at the bottom. Somos is at the bottom. You see these figures coming through the darkness of the temple. And you just spot them. They're about 25, 30 feet away. Mm -hmm. And there's three of them. And they appear to be Darrow. They're not Darrow. There's something that happened after a Darrow died. A uh, question. Would I be able to rack religious brain knowledge since I was raised in a religious orphanage to figure out what the hell this thing is? Hmm. Yeah, actually, I can. Yeah, I could be a wisdom check uh, at disadvantage. I wouldn't know any of this for my studies. Uh, I rolled double eights, so they're they're undead. Awesome. And also, they are. Um, well, I can let you know they're recently they're dead. They're, yeah, the corpses, animated corpses that have a malevolent 
uh, mm. agenda. And it works from wall. I don't know what Samos would do here. There, and you've heard them called a coffer corpse. Okay. Well, in, either, yeah, but either way, if I know they're undead for sure, I'm going to take my holy symbol out of my oh, yeah. uh, thing. I'm going to hold it up. I'm going to rebuke the shit out of them in the name of Tritharion and tell them to go back to their eternal uh, rest. Nice. It's, you got to make the roll, though. I can't roll. Yeah. Okay. So Coffer Corpse turns as, I have to quickly look that up, Monster Man, or Fiendfolio. These are nasty little critters because you'll see if they actually close on you guys. Not I had them right that. here. I'm absolutely not surprised they're nasty. Coffer Corpse. These foul creatures of undead class are found in the stranded funeral barges or any other situation where the corpse has failed to return to its maker. Um, <gasps> That's lovely. It's, oh, man. It's treated as a wraith. Oh Lord, I probably won't be able to turn them at third level, but I don't yeah, know. I don't know that. I'm still, I'm not. Yeah, meta well, so. just meta game that your level. You can still try. You can still try it. You're level three or four? Three, level three. <laughs> well, you can give it a call to try. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, well, I know I roll it, but you, oh, you're oh. the only one that knows whether or not I actually turn Go on. Go ahead, it. roll. Nineteen. Wow. You know what? Did I just uh, get lucky or fuck? No, but you needed a 20, dude. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I came damn close. And this, these creatures have such a hatred. You can tell they're not... They might not be carrying such power. Maybe they are, but they just... Uh, and they burst through and they still come on. Now, one of them turns. There were three. Okay, that's fine. And I, because you got the nineteen. Yep, that's fine. I'm not okay one right. of them just kind of ah. Now roll a uh, twelve-sided die, and that's how many rounds this sucker will run. Okay, hang on, let me dig out the twelve for areas. I don't use these very often because very few things use twelve sliders. And you, and fine. the only one who sees this, brother Merrick, turns to you guys down and roughly goes, ah, something comes. It's evil and dark. Yeah, we got a <laughs> we got five rounds with that bitch running. All right. By the way, guys. So, the middle I'm one. You, I'm going to tell you right now, anything that's undead, don't let it touch you. Can't figure as much. The other two just ponder quickly forward. And they basically look like a Darrow that have been dead for eight days and are full of dust and, and blood and crushed limbs, yet oh, have this, this, yeah, this yellow light in their eyes. And there's something so, special about them. You're not sure what they are. Like, I'll just warn you guys, they're not... Okay, they're so not like ones we recently killed. Typical zombies or something. These are weird undead, and they're they're closing the distance. So now we we roll initiative. I guess uh, I'll do it. I was gonna say, yeah, who's gonna roll it with a? Uh... I'll do it. I got a two, three. So you guys can act. They're going to just run up. They're moving pretty quick. Like They're not like slow zombie. They're moving quick. They're in the and hallway. they're scaring the shit out of you. Um, in fact... Are they in that like, spillway area? Or I can like... Cause I got some form. Well, you got the roll 20 going? Let me have a look. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to position them where they are now, these two. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. Okay. No, they've, 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 they've run up. They're they're there and they're gonna run into that tunnel and attack you. So, um, yeah, I got a spell for them. Nice. Let me have a quick look. And they just have their hands out. They just reaching, like they have no weapons. They just their hands are grasping and their eyes are glowing this yellow glow on their. <sighs> Scary as fuck, though. Um, um, you I want initiative? Five. Let's start with uh, spells. I got one. Go ahead. I got one, too. <laughs> nope, Tyrath's going for a sword. <laughs> Color spray. Ooh, nice. Spray? Ooh, are undead. Color right. spray. One is this creature in the area of the set can be affected. And that's I, one well, half let, inch. Let me rephrase. 
certain creatures are not affected by it because they're considered unintelligent. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta watch that. By two inches. Yeah. By two inches. Yeah, they have to be intelligent creatures. Well, let's see. With a good college try. Well, I mean, no, no. I mean, at this point, you play your character, don't play the meta, but I'm just wondering if it's actually meta, if it's going to affect them. From one to six creatures within the area effect, half inch by two inches by two inches. Can I hit them? You can hit them, but like mm -hmm. he said, we have to, have to lead more of the text of that spell. Yeah. Because... Can be affected. Like... um. Zombie, zombies are typically unaffected by color spray because they're reanimated corpses. They're not sentient. Yeah. Able to affect one level or hit or hit that of creatures for each of his or her spellcasters. So you're going to be... Level of experience. So that's three levels of experience. Or you're not going to catch these guys because they're probably over their level. Yeah. No, hold on creatures. a minute. Um, to begin with, you hit one of them, they have low mm -hmm. intelligence. And they have an agenda. Revenge. Seek flesh. And life. Way to go, guys. This is what happens when you leave doors open. They are two hit die monsters. Oh, and so really? The first one gets hit. Okay. And then, then he needs to make the roll to see what happens to it because he can blind them, stun them, or knock them out. Yeah. Uh, I might negate some of those. If their level of hit die is one to two greater than the You might be able to blind them, just like dazzle these undead. That. You might be able to blind the one, knocking it out. Nah. That, that well, let me see what, I, I got to remember exactly how it reads in this edition. It's my problem. Yeah. I think I'm see. Uh, Brother mm -hmm. Merrick is with you, and he's like, and he he grabs you around the waist. Okay. And after you cast your spell, he grabs you around the waist, okay. and he so, runs to the okay. shoot. So, Darren, hey, the way this... you hear that? Yeah. One second. Okay. So here's the way this works. Um, they're unconscious for 2d4 rounds if their level is less than or equal to, or blinded for 1d4 if their levels are equal to the hit dice, or 1 to 2 greater, and they're stunned uh, for 2d4 if the level is greater, 3 or greater. That's the way it works per the raw. Yeah. They actually so, ignore all those effects. Stunned, blinded, and being unconscious. They don't. They don't use no. their eyes to see because they're undead no. normally. It, they're unintelligent. You realize your magic is just not affecting them. Yeah, and um, we gotta go. Yeah, and, and you feel these strong arms come around your waist, and Merrick grabs you, and you're only what forty pounds, remember? Yeah, I'm like, get the fuck. he's like, let's, let's me. please, let's go, and he grabs you and lifts you up and runs, and he's quick. He's a monk. He has like twenty move. And gets the shoot. It's humiliating. <laughs> hey, thanks for uh, not caring about the rest of us that don't have a twenty move. Are you in that tunnel? Uh, no, I already went down. But I hope yeah. not. But because he throws sprite at Tyrath. This fucking humiliating. Merrick, catch early. He throws, and sprite's like. Whoo, whoo, whoo. You just hear sprite yelling. This is humiliating over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> Make a dexterity check, Tyrath. Like, oh. oh, I got. Yeah, I'm trying to catch him here. So hang on, I'm trying here. to catch a gnome. And I'm kind of, so uh, okay, I guys. So, so guys, I have a 55 percent chance to pull this off. Do not fail. I want to fail. I, I want to see what Tyrath does. Get over and I will, okay, ten versus an eleven. So I want to narrate this if I can, Darren, because I think it'd be hilarious. <laughs> so Tyrath, sword out, buckler on the other hand. This gnome comes flying at him. He reaches out, and while he does it, he realizes his sword point is pointing at the gnome, and he has to he has to reach out, point the sword outwards, grab this gnome. So this gnome winds up going almost over his head, and right as he does, he manages to capture him right by the ankles. So the gnome is hanging halfway down over his back. <laughs> you still hear him say, "This is humiliating," over and over and over again. <laughs> and Brother Merrick just jumps off the ledge. That works for me, man. <laughs> He's a monk. He can do that. He's within 10 feet of a ledge. And, yep. and he, he lands has, uh, <laughs> like he a cat. No he takes no damage from falling. And you see that QP sure. flies down. She was hiding <laughs> up near the cave, but comes down and flies toward toward you, Ty Tyrell, and lands on you. And you can see, feel the sensation. If she's touching you, you get full 30% magic resistance, by the way. Awesome. Oh, that's ridiculous. And if she's, she even she's, if she's within like thirty feet, you get half that, right? Right. 
I'll take the thirty percent magic resistance. And so you Jesus. guys are, and Brother Merrick's like, they're coming. Please, do we flee? Do we have time? And you can hear this. Well, they, they don't turn very fast, so I vote as long as we move faster than them, we have time to get out. Yeah, put down the gnome, please. <laughs> Just drop the gnome. The oh, gnome. If, if you tell him to drop you. Tyrath is not going to do it the way you think he's going to do it. He's going to let go of his ankles. He's going to fall down over Tyrath's back. In the creek. I'll make, it, I'll make a dex trip just, just to see if I can fine, get it. Fine. But it's just like, you go, let him go. Pook. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got to remember. You're not I will make a dex check to see if I can succeed. <laughs> That's up to Darren. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Make a dex check? Yeah. yeah. All right. You might fall on your ass awkwardly or fall in the what? stream. Oh, wow. You do like a pirouette backflip. You see him land. <laughs> stick a landing. Oh yeah. He's and like... Stick him <laughs> in right, the ass with a dagger. A little poke. Just be like, that's what you get for freaking Yeah. <laughs> and he looks amazing. Like it was just like, holy oh, I meant to do that. Like, yeah, I meant to do that the whole time. The, the monk threw you caught by like... the The, the gnome does not look pleased. Which I'd which way is it out? The, the following the stream is out, right? Yeah, yeah. And I'm currently sitting in the stream. And last time you went through it, it was passable and not hard. But you mm -hmm. right away see, like right out of The Walking Dead, these two Darrow undead mm -hmm. come to the ledge and just step off and come falling off and just get up immediately and like. And in that weird, strange power of the undead, immediately get up and lurch and powerfully come at you guys. Uh, but at Keep this going. point, the first two people could have gone through that tunnel and escaped. And yeah. well, Tyrat's going to be playing cover for everybody, so he's going to be the last one out. All right, well, Nobody's going to know what we doing when he can. Okay, so you guys can just outpace them, frankly. Yeah, just just run. Just keep running. Yeah, yeah. Right, there's... Oh. If, you, if you'd have let me, I'd have webbed the opening to that tunnel where the ledge was and been like, fuck you. <laughs> well, you guys can do whatever you want, but you guys you do have the opportunity just to leave at this yeah. point. Just, just leave. They just could have been stuck for like six turns while we ran. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and, and you guys could... There's plenty of ambush points and stuff too. I mean... But whatever, they're yeah. dead, and they're, those were right. coffer corpses, by the way. They have some interesting little abilities. Um, yeah, we're out, probably sealing the way behind us. Hmm. You guys flee and um, go under the water, drop mm -hmm. up into the guard area that they had used recently, escape mm -hmm. out the side, see the desolation of the impact. You're in the Therno Pass again, and now you remember what happened before in the orders and what was supposed to happen. And apparently, your memories said, it, "Well, if you refer back, it was like, okay, get the star, bring it to the tower. You have a choice now. You can either go back the way you came, where through the Druid Valley, and pick up Briffin, and head around. And that's a long way because you know now from your memories that this." Uh, this Tower of the Heavens is a huge monastery that's positions on the cliffs of the mountains on the other side. And you can go through the Therno Pass now, which is secure. You guys have, yay, well, sort of secured it. There's a couple of coffer corpses walking around. Um, I mean, we probably sealed that area. And there's, oh. couple, you guys didn't uh, discover the whole area, by the way. Yeah, there's still more there. There's more there. <laughs> Coming back when there's a. Uh... When there's less uh, undead and more just fire. For now, you have a choice now. You can either go what seems to be the quicker way to the left and clockwise bring you to the Tower of the Heavens, or you could go counterclockwise where you came from, go through the Druid Valley, mm -hmm. and go around the long way. All right. What do you guys want to do? Jude Valley or straight to the Tower of Heavens? I say Tower of the Heavens. I want to get done with this mission. <laughs> yeah, I want to get rid of this star and 
Well, poor Tyrath just he wants to go somewhere where he can rest for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> now, from your memories, because you guys inherited from the memory web from mm -hmm. the, the dead monks, you, you have a kind of an idea of the topography of this area in the region. And you know that it's you're on the there's this Jotun Peninsula that sticks out from the Hell Furnaces Mountains. Mm -hmm. And you realize now you're near the point. And yeah, it just comes down to do you want to go the short way or the long way? And give me a minute. I think while we're sort of talking about this, Wright's just using like the pommel of his dagger to just break off rocks and seal that river. I, I'm I'm beginning to wonder if fire is not the proper response to this entire uh, problem. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Oh god, there's more Daryl corpses down there too. Yeah, exactly. Fire yeah. and lots of it. Yeah. You see, a, you see a bug hole. You nuke it. Got it? Yeah. Exterminatus is a viable option here. Yeah. Exterminatus is always a viable option. I don't know what kind of inquisitor you are, but... <laughs> Actually, you have a flaming spear. Uh, I do have flaming spear. <laughs> you, you know what? Forget flaming spear, dude. I was thinking of something ridiculous like wall of fire. Yeah, I'm not that high level. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. Tyrath wants to be level four in a class. Tyrath wants to be level four in a class. <laughs> I don't think I'm close to it. I'm at forty six twenty five a piece. I I've got. Uh, oh yeah, four, I'm, I'm like thirty five hundred from fighter. And I got four hundred and sixteen to uh, <laughs> get to level four in psionicist. I'm 2,500 from it in Cleric and 4,500 or 3,500. So everybody, from it it's probably a good spot to stop oh, the yeah. session. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, we'll continue next time. And uh, we got to do XP crunch, Mr. Dan. Okay. I did it up till what? I gave you the ones for the first encounter, second encounter. You didn't you know, give me the ones for the, slave, for the sleeping quarters, the slave quarters. And I need to do the. Uh, experience yeah. based on the equipment he gave us the magic items already i think yeah i gave yeah, you magic but, but items I, gave yeah, you the I kills i don't know how much they're worth that's the problem mm -hmm. so like how much is a plus one longsword worth well i added that in the xp yeah he already gave us that total where when i must have missed it yeah it was like um, 1328 or something no, like there, there were two of them yeah. Um, it was uh, 1,342 eight. was the amount he gave us when you divided it by uh, all of us. Okay. Yeah. 1,342. And then was there going to be any quest experience at all, Darren? There was another one I gave you for finding the... I remember I said you got 1,200 for the shooting star. For finding the shooting star, yeah. And, and all that. 500 for the shooting star? No, no. Oh, well, no, that was already done. There were two in. Okay, the first one I gave you. 2300. Was it 1350? No, it's 1342 is what I think we have right now. Yeah, but there was another one. Uh, the other one was. Uh, yeah. 733. Uh, 1253. 1253. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Was that total or per person? Per person. Right. Per, per person. So total per person, we wound up with uh, 1595. Or not 1500, 2595. Yeah, I was going to say a lot more than that. Then I got to add times 0. 0.1 to that. Plus yeah. 595, which leaves me. And if you rolled a 20, you get 50 XP. Yeah, I already added yeah. that. I forgot to do my plus 10%. I suck. Was forty six twenty five. I have. Oh, I leveled. Ah. You leveled. I leveled both classes. Six thousand uh, fifty two experience piece. And I need. Uh, uh, yeah, I think I leveled both classes. Six thousand fifty two. Darren, I have forgotten how we're doing hit points for freaking multi class again. It's confusing as fuck. 
You split it 50 50? Yeah, well, I've got that. Okay, yeah, I don't level fighter. I level cleric, though. I level yeah. fourth level cleric. Just so you're fourth, third? Fourth. Fourth, fourth. Fourth level cleric now. Nice. Hey, uh, so, Derek, I gained, I... Uh, so I so what it is is I roll it, I get a D8 halved plus one for my other class, right? Is that how it worked? Mm hmm. And you guys are now at the next step. You're you're gonna take the star to the tower. And yeah. uh, now, on... Brother Merrick's very pleased about this. By the way, the monk in your party, mm -hmm. he's like quite titillated, and and he's like we're doing the right thing, and and the masters will know what to do with this thing, and it's very important to them. You'll be rewarded. But he's he also reminded you about there's something wrong. The tower. There was this guy named Prs. Who had had controlled a powerful faction at the tower, and there was alarm. I don't know. You might want to look back at the messages. There, the tower had suddenly had a lot of trouble. Uh, the images so showed you that there was this ancient old man, and you recognized him as a, a, a shelfy, and he seemed to have been hiding her in fear and PRs was in control mm -hmm. and they have there's a lot of monks like Brother Merrick says they are there monks that have dedicated their lives to protecting the masters of the tower and I do not wish to confront them but I fear that the masters have been corrupted yeah Darren, yo, on the ten percent, if I've got a point five, do I round up or round down? Round up. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this has been fun. Uh, so Darren, I gained four hit points total, and I gained one more spell per day. But I can't actually cast initial spell per day until I actually rest. So yeah, nice rest because I haven't. I, basically, I gain it automatically without the ability to use it, but. It's still good. I mean, I'm I'm not quite. I need one more level in cleric to get third level spells, which would be cure moderate wounds. Mm. I'm happy with this. I get two bonus second level or bonus second level and a two bonus first levels. I'm perfectly okay with this. Got five first level spells per day. Wow. Yeah, Tyrath's getting kind of goofy, messed up. Um, I'm kind of curious on how many hit points uh, Salmos has. Because I got to be getting close to his hit point total. Oh, yeah. I, I'm really wondering if Tyrath is not the actual tank in this party, even though he doesn't tank all the time. Mostly because he has the worst luck in the world. <laughs> I can't tell you the number of times I'm like, yay, I have a really high all. Darren rolls like a 20. Great. No, <laughs> <laughs> no and you guys played well. Um, I like. I'll punish you if you're stupid, but you guys played really well. I think it's a. You know what? I think Raised Dead's a third level cleric spell in first edition. Ooh, ooh. Oh no, my! You've Dang. gone over the cusp. Hold on, BRB. I still need nine thousand for illusionist and eight thousand for fighter. I still need. Uh, what is that? Animate. Yeah, that's what those fuck. That's I don't get I, I don't get raised dead yet, but I can animate dead. Three hundred, three thousand one hundred eleven. I need two hundred eighty-five XP to be a fourth-level psionicist. Nice. I got a long dude. long ways to go for oh. mage. Oh, you know what, dude? Next level for me for cleric, I get remove curse. And speak nice. with the dead. And then two thousand one hundred and twelve for the other one. Don't tell me freaking raised dead is a fifth-level spell in this. Yeah, fifth. I'm holy getting, shit, uh, dude. What level does a fifth level spell even come around for a cleric? For cleric? Cripes, ninth to... level. You don't even get a fucking fifth level slot till ninth level. Jesus. Alright. I need just okay. under fifteen hundred to get to tenth or fourth level magic. Uh, I still need almost two thousand to level as a fighter again. Mm hmm it, well, now my experience tables are starting to get goofy because I think it's this level for cleric goes from eight or from six thousand. He's like twelve thousand to gain another level. Yeah, I'm sorry, thirteen thousand to gain to fifth level, and then for fighter he goes 
He needs 8,000 to hit level 4, and then it jumps from 8,001 to 18,000 for level 4 to 5. I forgot to stop the broadcast. It's okay. Oh. We're still talking shop, at least. <laughs>